Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Hello. may I have your attention, please? Our algebra webinar is about to begin. During the seminar, we kindly ask for your cooperation to turn off to turn off your microphone to make our session conducive. And if possible, your voice is we a... kindly ask. Yeah. Your your voice is not clear. Oh, really? I'm I'm so sorry. What about now, Professor? Am I audible enough? Hello. Hello. Come on. Yeah, am I audible, Professor? Uh, I'm audible, you? I can hear you, yeah. But your voice is not coming for... Okay. Let me... Oh, okay. okay. I'm, about to, wait, wait, uh, wait. I'm about to fix that problem first. I think uh, the link uh, uh, you share uh, with our students, they are not able to join. So I just forwarding again to them. Wait for okay. minutes. Really, thank you for that. Just now share another link. Okay, what about no professor? Am I audible? Am I clear right now? Okay. Okay. Yes, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we are so happy to welcome you all again to the Algebra Seminar 2022. Thank you for attending the second day of the event. This seminar is organized by the Algebra Research Group from the Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, Institut Teknologi Bandung, Indonesia. I am Kamal Khairuddin, and I will be the moderator for the today's event. Ladies and gentlemen and general people, Algebra Research Group of the Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, ITB, has 14 members. 10 of them has PhD degree, three are currently in intake of PhD program, while one is still looking for scholarships. Our research interest concerns on algebra Hello. and module theory. Kamal, could you speak yep. please? Okay, can you hear me, Professor? No, not yet. It just bit, bit. Oh, okay, okay. We're wait, kindly to wait you to fix the problem. Hello. Yeah. Okay. From from our committee, can you please to uh so, to confirm so, whether I audible or not? Hello. 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 Okay. Hmm? Thank you, Professor Shakir. Yes. What yes, about now? Now no, it is. Uh, I think. Yes, go ahead, please. Okay, thank you so much. I, I'm but really happy that clear. you. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm trying to speak as, as clear as possible right now, Professor. Thank you. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm about to um, continue the opening uh, again. You should really know that this seminar is organized by the Algebra Research Group from the Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, ITB, Indonesia an algebra research group of the Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, ITB, has 14 members. 10 of them has PhD degree, three are currently in intake of PhD program, while one is still looking for scholarships. 
Our research interest concerns on algebra and module theory, such as hereditary on prime and semi-prime properties. Research in this area includes research in module theory using categorical approach, such as abelian triangulated and derived categories. We are also interested in linear algebra and matrix theories that includes properties of linear and indefinite inner product bases. Some of our members are also interested in the applications of algebra's structure, encoding theory, and cryptography. And recently, we have expanded our research interest to trusses and graph theory with graph constructed from algebraic structure. Uh -huh. And now we are conducting the Algebra Seminar 2022. So, ladies and gentlemen, this Algebra Seminar is conducted virtually from from the 30th of September until the 2nd of October, 2022. The event aims at enriching our knowledge in algebra and also expanding the research network between researchers worldwide. This is a three-day event with the first day was yesterday featuring Professor Arthur Kirnolovic from the University of Bialystok, Poland. He delivered a great presentation in the introduction of the interactive Fear improving as well as well as the straight demonstration of the use of Mitsor. And today, the second day of the event, it's an honor for us to have another presentation that will be delivered by Professor Shakir Ali from Aligarh Muslim University, India. He will be talking about the differential operators in rings. We will have two sessions with Q&A session at, at the end of each session. And last but not least, Professor Thomas Bresensky from Swansea University will deliver a talk about trusses on the third day of the event. And not to forget to mention that the today's speaker, Professor Shakir Ali is among us right now. And it will be a precious event if we conduct a photo session before we start the session. So, uh, Professor Shakir, uh, we're really happy to have a photo session with you before the session start. Is that okay, okay. for you, Professor? Okay, so uh, first of all, thank you, uh, especially to Intan, because she invited for this seminar and Really, I'm happy to among sure. all of you. Uh, and uh, today I will speak. Let me share first the screen and then we will come back, inshallah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Uh, oh, are you, are, are you going to uh, give a talk right now, Professor? Can we start or we have still some bit? I time. think I think we're going to have some photo sessions and something uh, like before we start the session. Okay. Professor. So, so is that so. okay for you? Yeah. yeah thank sure, you no. so much. Sure. Sure. Okay. okay. Thank you very. Thank you. you. And yeah, okay, okay. we really uh, delighted to have you, Professor, uh, okay. to talk in this seminar. Thank you. And yeah, as I mentioned before, I would like to invite all of the participants, all of the committee staff, to open your camera so that we can conduct a photo session before we start uh, the lecture. OK, I think we are about to wait for a half of the minute, 30 seconds for you to open up your camera and uh, be prepared for the photo session with Professor Shakir. OK, we have two slides. I think uh, it's enough. We're going to start the photo session. Is there a committee that would like to help us on taking the photo? OK. OK, uh, the photo session should be started right now. The, the photo will be taken on three, two, and one. Nice, that, that was the first uh, slide and we are going to proceed to the next slide. Okay, the photo should be yep. taken on three, two, one. Nice, really great. Okay. Okay, 
uh, fellow participants before proceeding straight to the session, let me share some of the key rules while attending the session. First, every participant has to join the meeting for at least five minutes before the session starts. And then for the sake of conduciveness of the event, every participant has to turn off the microphone, except if it's allowed. And if possible, keep your camera on during the sessions and use the provided virtual background. Also, every participant has to attend all the sessions and has to ask for permissions from the operator if you want to leave the meeting incidentally. Any questions can be written in the chat box or can be asked directly to the speaker by unmuting your microphones after being allowed by the moderators. And, not, and last but not least, participants display name must uh, include the institution name and also your full name. Okay, so without any further ado, uh, let me call on Professor Shakir Ali from Aligarh Muslim University of India that will be presenting the topic in differential operator in rings. Hello, good afternoon, Professor. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Really nice to have Kamal. you. Uh, How is your day going, Professor? Mashallah, very good, very good. So, uh, did uh, Professor Intan is here? Mm -hmm. In Professor Intan. Oh yeah, Professor Intan is here. Hello, Professor Intan. Oh hello, yes. Sorry, I cannot open my video. Oh, so thank okay. you very much, Professor Intan, yeah, and your whole team, space and uh, uh, like Professor Gant uh, Gantna for your uh, hello, fine Ali. invitation, and uh, you know, really enjoy. Uh, your invitation and happy to be the part of your seminar today. Thank you. Thank you very uh, much. I hope, uh, could I know the audience? Uh, is, uh, is the PhD students or master students yeah. or all of combined? Could anybody help me? So I I will go according. Uh, the... I, the I'm asking. The is from... Uh... PhD student, um, magister students, and lecturer oh, from good, Indonesia, good. Philippines, uh, India. Yes, yes. Now there are candidates from Morocco. Yes. Gantna. Uh, and also, I think somebody joined, soon they joined from Malaysia and, and Turkey as well. So don't worry. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. So could I share my screen? Um, Kamal? Yeah. Okay. Of course. So, uh, <laughs> but should 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 we um present for the short resume of a Professor Shakir Ali first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, please. Really nice. Thank you so much. You and again, my, Professor. Many more things you, you manage uh, uh, very nicely. I'm happy to see all these uh, activities. We are we are beyond happy to have you, Professor Shakir. Yeah, and okay. yeah. Uh, for the today's presentation, uh, we are so delighted to have Professor Shakir from AMU, uh, India. Professor Shakir is a full-time lecturer at the Department of Mathematics uh, at the Aligarh Muslim University of India, designated a, as a full professor since 2016. He has devoted for more than 19 years for teaching and 23 years for conducting research. His interests are in derivation in associative rings and algebra, functional identities, coding theory, and cryptography. In 2018, he was awarded as the Outstanding Scientist Award for the years by IOS RD. That's a really great. And for the educational history, he earned degrees for the philosophy doctoral, Master of Philosophy, Master of Science, and also the Bachelor's of Science in Mathematics from Aligarh Muslim University. For the professional appointments and services, he is currently a Deputy Managing 
editor for the Aligor Bulletin of Mathematics since 2020. And he also served as the editorial board members for several reputable journals like Journal Algebra and Computation Application, the American Journal of Applied Mathematics and Statistics, Applied Science Reporter, and many, many more. And he is, that being mentioned, he is a professor at the Department of Mathematics, Aligarh Muslim University in India. And before that, he served as the associate professor at the Department of Mathematics at the King Abdul Aziz University at the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Some of his publications are on the structure or generalized Jordan star derivations of prime rings, as well as some remarks on differential identities in rings. So what a great a resume of Professor Shakir, and we have Professor Shakir among us already right now. So I'm about to call on Professor Shakir to start your session. So the time is yours, Professor. Thank you, uh, Kamal, for nice uh, uh, introduction. Uh, okay, so let me share first the screen, and then we will come on discussions. Kamal, if this screen is visible? Yeah, we can see it pretty clear. Okay, good. Okay, so uh, dear colleagues, friends, researchers along the globe, I'm happy to deliver the first talk on differential operators in Institute Technology, Bandung, Indonesia. So today's I will speak on uh, differential operators in rings. So let me begin with the outline. So things will follow and we will go accordingly. So this is what the outline on my talk, give brief, uh, motivation for the work which we are following, make some uh, important notations and we start the definition of, you know, the differential operator. Later on, we call it derivations. And then we go the various forms of derivations one by one and we conclude some, I mean, uh, give some open problems for young generations who are interested in this field. We conclude our talk with the uh, applications because uh, people should know where the notion of derivation has been uh, applied or can be used in the future works. So let me begin. This is this is what uh, you know uh, work of several people who motivated me and EMU algebra group in to work in the field of derivations, rings, algebras, and so on and so forth. So the first very important paper, it is by E. C. Posner derivations in prime rings published in 1957 year and then there was a long gap nobody uh, take uh, interest in this field but after around uh, you can say about 40 or 30 years people are attracted and give attention on this paper 
because the author uh, did not mention about the importance and the other things about this paper. So that was uh, people not interesting. But later on, when people go through this paper and taking in the account and they start work on derivations in rings and algebras. The second notion is lift derivation. And then we can say the y derivation, symmetry derivation, higher derivation and very in early means around in 2014, me and my student, former student uh, Nadim Dar introduced the notion of a star centralizing mapping in rings with innovation. This is also the point in paper which gives a lot of uh, problems in rings with innovation. And let me fix the notations so throughout my talk, we shall mean an associative ring or algebra over a field F and ZR at the center of R, R is the ring and ZR is center. Then these two Lie product, the first we call it Lie product denoted by this, uh, you know, uh, X by minus Y X. So if you look at this right hand side, this is the ordinary product of R. However, the, the left hand side is the Lie product. So, and in the similar way, we introduce the another uh, product, we call it Jordan product. And it is denoted by X O Y, X Y plus Y. So with these notation and uh, these, uh, you know, uh, the we call the commutator identities play a very important role when we are dealing uh, the problems, computations related to Lie products. The last one is very famous and classical identity, commonly known as uh, Jacobian identity in algebra. We define the extension of Lee as well as Jordan products. So they call it kth commutator for x by in R and k is positive integer. If we define the x by, this is don't know the Lee product of order zero, we call this is its value is one. And the Lee product of order one, x by it is same as the Lee product. And its value we already defined x by minus by x. And to following this, uh, you know, the uh, induction, we define the kth commutator, in fact. So the kth commutator is this one. Where, okay, so for k is equal to one, it gives the Lie product and we call commutator for order one. For k is equal to two, we call it commutator product two and so on and so on, and we use in our discussion. In the similar way, the kth anti commutator in define, look over here in the same way as define the Lie product, and then the kth commutator is defined with the help of Jordan. Kth anti commutator, we call it I, I am good commutator. In the same way, if the k is equal to one, we get the Jordan product, and for k is equal to two, we get the uh, anti commutator of order two. So, time to time, we are using uh, these uh, high order, we call in the high order commutator in our discussion. Let me give you four more, uh, some more definitions, which will be are uh, helpful in our discussion. So the next one, uh, the first very first definition is the standard polynomial identity. So let S n is the symmetric group of R of degree n. We are familiar with the symmetric group. So we consider polynomial of the form, uh, uh, the standard polynomial identity of degree S4. S4 means the polynomial in four variable, okay? Is defined with the help of this relation. 
So uh, look at this sigma in IS4. As we know, the order of IS4 is, you know, uh, uh, factorial 4. So it is 24. So that means uh, this polynomial identity consists of 24 elements. Okay. And of course, we know the uh, in case of the permutation, we have the even and odd permutation are same. So if we expand this polynomial and then uh, we get the term 24 out of 24, 12 term is positive and 12 term of the negative side. So this these, these you find with the help of minus one to power sigma, where sigma is plus one or minus one according to uh, even and odd permutation. Okay. So uh, let me uh, give the more uh, clear version of this polynomial because if we take as four, uh, so it has 24 element as, as uh, I mean, uh, uh, let just let you know. So for more clear version, take n is equal to two. So that means a symmetric group of order two, and then you we take a polynomial that means as four. So this is, uh, I think, uh, uh, let me just uh, see the, 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 I take n is equal to two, we will get uh, this as two in two variables. That is to understand the more uh, clearly. And this will gives us, this will gives us, uh, you know, we call this is as we define sigma we have taken from S2 and then we call it, uh, you know, minus one to the power n. That's what you call two better. And then you have x sigma one and x sigma two. So if you open it, and then basically you will get this x one, x two minus x two, x one. So this is the case for n is equal to two. Okay. So as far as the example is concerned, uh, uh, example is concerned. So if you have a commutative ring, if R is commutative, if R is R is commutative ring, then the, this uh, 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 then this RNT always holds. So that means in any commutative ring, this RNT always holds. Means I for example is concerned. So we will discuss this again uh, in next slides. Uh, and now we have another notation for two additive subgroup A and B. This say denote the additive subgroup of R generated by elements A and B for A belongs to A and B belongs to B. So with this, every associative ring. R can be turned to the leading by introducing the leap order. So that means if we replace our new product in ring by the leap orders, so the ring turn out to be a uh, leading. And hence, we consider R simultaneously as a ring as a uh, leading, and we study other things. So let me. Uh, Yes, uh, there's any other, any question from our dance? Feel free, please. If you have question, just let me know. Okay, if no question, then I proceed. Uh, an additive subgroup U of R is called a Lie ideal. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Kamal, there is any question? Okay, uh, as it is instructed by a professor, should you have any questions, just please to let him know. 
So for uh, at age or at, okay, I, I don't okay. think so, Professor. Okay, so you can so, continue. Uh, let me give first because we are using the uh, terms in our description like the ideals, the ideals, standard parliament degree. So we are just give the brief introduction about these noted notions. Okay to make our discussion self-contained. So let first we have Lee ideal. So additive subgroup for you of R is called a Lee ideal. If whenever U belongs to U and R belongs to R, U R is also in U. In the similar way, if we have this U is closed, because you know, so that means the U is closed under this uh, Lee product with the help of element of U and R. Then we call it, uh, the, if this uh, U is closed with the help of this product, that means U R minus R U, okay, in U, where U is additive subgroup, then we call this U is our Lee idea. Lee idea. If this U closed under the, the Jordan product, like, uh, if you have a U O R, that means U R plus R U belongs to U, and then we call it Jordan idea. The next one more definition uh, for I am power closed. So, of course, uh, U belongs to U. And if U to the power M belongs to U, power M, M is positive integer greater than 1, then we call this U is I am power closed Lie ideal. Hope definition will, uh, are clear. And now, okay, let me give some classical examples so things become more clear. So any two-sided ideal is always a Lie ideal and Jordan ideal, always. Similarly, the center of the ring, that means, uh, you know, this product, this, so Lee product, this is the center of R. That means this is always zero and zero always in the center, right? So this, uh, uh, that that's why we call uh, this uh, ZR the Lee ideal of the given. Similarly, if you have a ring R, then this commutator, as, as already you mentioned, this, uh, this commutator is a Lee ideal. And why this Lie ideal? The reason is given here. See, because uh, this uh, leap, the, if you consider this is a one element, then this, uh, because this is already the Lie, Lie ideal, as I, this is called, uh, yeah, here, right? So this is the Lie ideal, and so this is again contained in this, and hence they are definitely the Lie ideal. So any additive subgroup of R containing this commutator is also a Lie ideal. The reason is this. So in, in conclusion, there are a lot of Lie ideas. And the basic is uh, the, the most important, uh, the theory of uh, ideas, uh, means examples of ideas are Lie ideas. However, the natural portion, does there exist a Lie ideal? Means we are talking about the relation between ideals and Lie ideals. So, of course, there exists a Lie ideal which are not ideals. There exists a Lie ideal which are not ideals. So, the study of uh, Lie ideals is the natural way to study. So, let me give the counter example for those who are new or are interested. I think this example is a, yes, 
then let R be a two by two matrix where the elements come from GF2. GF2 means Galva field of order two. Then if, if you have U of this form, that means this principal diagonal are same and half diagonal are different. So of course, this is a Lie ideal, which is not ideal. And if we consider the additive subgroup of R of this form, where both diagonals are same, then this is a Jordan ideal which is not ideal. Another question, what is the relation between U and J? So this is the, another question to, for discussion. So yes, they are not same in many cases. Maybe you can check uh, U, J is, uh, may not be the ideal. Check calculations and because we have the discussion up to the evening, so if anybody have a doubt or anybody have a question, feel free to ask now or after session. So then a uh, few more definitions just to move on our main issue. We call uh, define commuting and centralizing mapping one of these uh, classical no sense in the theory of uh, uh, differential entities, functional entities, rings and algebras. Let S be a non-empty subset of R, a mapping A from R to R is said to be centralizing if this Lie product is in the center of the ring R. In the special case, when this Lie product is zero for all x in S, then we call this f a commuting map on S. So we let uh, some example to be for the verification and make definition more clear. So if uh, we first is, you know, the identity map is a trivial example if the identity map is commuting as well as centralizing. Then next example, any map having a range in the center, right? Then of course, if fx is center, so that means you know if fx is center, why the, if you have f. If we have a R from R to and this is a ring, okay. So definitely, uh, this Fx uh, belongs to this R. And in case if this Fx if in, in, in the center of the ring R, so we always write, we always write Fx y is equal to zero. Okay, so if this is for all y in R. So in case, so that means this is zero. So if this is zero, then zero always in the center zero always in the center of ring R, okay? And in particular, if you take y is equal to x, you will get fx, x, this is zero, and this is for all, x belongs to R, and so that this is zero, and we call, that means f is commuting, okay? Uh, that so the identity map all the, the map which uh, the map whose range in the center is always commuting as well as centralized. On the other classical example, 
the third one, any map of this form is very uh, uh, nice uh, example. If we are talking about uh, 3.3, if you look here, what does mean just, I explained because there are some new comma. So we have F, A, F from R to R and such that Fx is equal to lambda times lambda times x for all x belongs to R. Uh, come on, this slide is visible. Yeah. Okay. Still good. visible, Professor. Oh, whoa. Okay. So this and this lambda, this lambda is in the center of R. In fact. Center of R. Okay. So if you look uh, for, uh, for our claim, that is uh, this map is centralizing or commuting. So let me check the, the uh, definition. That means if we find the Lie product Fx and X. So let me check this. If you take the value that is lambda X and this is X. This is called to, we always like lambda and uh, you know, this is x, x. So this is again, you can say lambda times zero. So this is zero. So this means what? This means this fx, x belongs to center of the ring for all x belongs to r. Hence, map of this form is always centralizing as well as commuting. Uh, it, it is worthwhile to mention here, this map is very, very important in the study of uh, operator theory. Uh, in particular, we can say functional analysis. Later we have discussed, but just I pointed out the importance of this map. This is the, you know, the multiplier and such multipliers is pretty very important role in functional analysis. The next, uh, we come on the motivation for our, the main key that is the uh, derivation. So my uh, dear colleagues, as uh, we mean, as I mentioned in, in the title is the differential operators in ring. So let me explain the connection of uh, uh, derivation with the differential operator. We are all aware. So we start this in, uh, notation. We all are aware about this operator. This operator is from from uh, we consider this, uh, you know, this is of course set of real numbers, set of real numbers. Okay, now uh, define my this capital D from R to R, then we define thick where uh, then then for F and G belongs to R, we define this F Y, this is F this X, simple. And in more general version, we call D over D, X. This is a very, very uh, familiar operator in uh, early calculus classes, my dear. Okay. Now the beauty of this, uh, the beauty of this operator, this is additive. Yes. And this is additive and this satisfies the Leibniz rule, very common. Okay. So this, this operator, we, if we look on, has the beautiful property, this is of course. Uh, this is this is our additive. 
that means let us check the uh, properties of this operator properties of d so first this is of course additive sorry beta you talk this is f this is g so this is equal to this the second important property is del of f to g is equal to and f g and third property is d of lambda g f is lambda times lambda times del of f so with this three property uh, this uh, operator we call derivative okay this is what the derivative and this derivative satisfy this property that means d is additive and this this call d is satisfy the leibniz rules okay this is what the the last uh, second one this is a uh, second one is what this is leibniz rule if, if we are aware about the early calculus this is leibniz rule okay this is what we we have uh, we call and very famous okay leibniz rule so this uh, derivative and we call a differential operator is uh, linear as well so this motivates means this idea the, the property of uh, derivative function especially the famous uh, property we call it the, the satisfy this uh, this one leibniz rule part this means attention of many uh, uh, mathematicians and then we get motivation with the help of uh, this operator we define the notion of uh, these operators by various uh, mathematicians so let me give the background uh, how people using these operators so in the early of uh, uh, very early uh, the uh, leibniz uh, define this uh, operator as we we call the second one this second property d over dx of fg is equal to d of f over fx into g and f of derivative of second okay so when then another notion by lagrange's using this uh, notation further newton you know using this idea so all these idea are same first second and third so this operator is not new this is the classical operator in in the calculus okay so the idea of derivation in several algebraic structure like group rings and algebra comes from the fundamental relation uh, between the operation between the operator of differential operators and now we uh, call derivation okay differential operator which satisfy the function of the rule rule we call it uh, a derivation and now another Im important point to give the motivation for this you know this operator is defined on r to r that means the real valued functions okay so this is the fixed one however we consider any ring in place of this r any ring okay so that gives the the idea of derivation in fact the more generalized version of uh, operators and let me give the precise definition of derivation 
So we give it now we define derivation by using the same approach. So let R be a ring. So instead of real numbers, we are taking any ring. It may be ring of integer, it may be ring of real uh, complex number, it may be ring of matrices, it may be finite, it may be infinite. So very interesting. We replace this R by ring means replacing the set of real numbers by ring. So let R be a ring and, and identity mapping, that means that's by the first property, identity mapping D from R to R is called a derivation if D of X by is equal to DX Y plus X D by holds for all X Y belongs to R. So look closely, this is this, this is what, this is the same rule, uh, the Leibniz rule as the differential arbiter satisfied. Okay, so that's the, the idea of derivation is comes from the theory of operators on real world. Okay, this is the way. Now we will talking about some, uh, these notions we discuss later on, but just to give you an idea, if you take x is equal to y, we have this definition and we call it Jordan derivation. Later on, we discuss in more detail. Now we come on the, the you know, the uh, uh, examples of derivation. This is very important. So let me come on classical examples uh, of derivation. So very interesting. Uh, look on first example, okay, a simple example, if you consider uh, this is a, a, a ring of polynomial, that is IR is equal to fx, and defined by this, fx is equal to f dx x df over dx. This is same as the idea of derivatives on ring of polynomials, then d is a derivation. This is the natural way to to consider examples on rings. However, in because the derivation, no, uh, the, the example of derivation is very from rings to rings. Let me come on uh, a very uh, beginning because this, uh, the first uh, ring is uh, considered as early. We will consider uh, the ring R, Z, the ring of, the ring of, the ring of integers. Okay. So what are the derivation on this ring? So uh, look over here. So if you have D from Z, sorry, R is equal to Z, to z and uh, such that we always have d x is equal to zero. So that means x belongs to, sorry, this x belongs to r is equal to zero. So that means zero is only derivation on the ring of integer. Ring of integer. Zero is the only uh, derivation on the ring of integer. Okay, so uh, let me give an idea how this, because uh, there are some, may, maybe some students, so how to digest this uh, idea, how this is uh, uh, means uh, derivation, this is uh, zero for all x. So let me just give uh, briefly for those who are new in this subject, how this happens. So let me calculate uh, this uh, one square. So we write one into one, apply definition of derivation. So this is what D of one, one and one D of one. 
Okay. So this is called to we write to d of one. That means, and this is this gives you d one. So from this you conclude d one is zero. Okay, d one is zero. Now, now we look for uh, for any x belongs to ring of integers we write this x is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 up to x times and apply the definition of derivation apply this definition sorry these additive so apply the additivity so that means that means d of x can be d of 1 plus 1 plus 1 and so on so plus 1 Since d is additive, so we are with right d one plus again d one, and we write d one. Now, as as we mentioned, d one is zero, so this is zero plus zero, so on so forth. This is zero, and hence this gives you. dx is zero for all x belongs to z. That means there is only zero derivation on the ring of integers. Come on. Yeah, professor. Yes, I I ask you students if they have any question on this because this is very important to understand the notion of derivation. Okay. Uh, are you okay with questions right now, Professor Shakir? Are you okay yeah. with several questions right now? Anyone, anyone, ask mm -hmm. because if it is not clear, I can repeat because this is very important to understand the the higher version of uh, things. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, participants. Uh, before we uh proceed to the next materials, uh, I would like to call on. You should you have any questions related to the explained materials, please to raise your hand. If it's not, just please let me know. Yes, yes, Saladin. Okay, yes, somebody raise hand. Come on. Yeah. Okay. I think Mr. Aki, it's your time to to raise your questions. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay. First of all, first of all, uh, let me introduce me. I am Eki Salahuddin Rafiki from Indonesia. From I'm a lecturer at uh, Politeknik Keuangan Negara Sekolah Tinggi Akuntansi Negara, like mm -hmm. states accounting accounting college. Usually, I lecture in accounting, but I have a uh, Uh, Preferent in mathematics. My hobby is mathematics. I have question in my video. Please look at my, my video. Is the same okay. derivative? The. Do you see my video? No, no, we cannot see because you know this slide is not which are sharing. You cannot see right now. Come Please on. Share. Please come on, come on, share my video. Okay. Uh. So come right on. now, I I think yeah. if if I have the video, then we share later on. Finally, okay. Uh, Otherwise, okay. we just have all these uh, setting. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Uh, okay. So so thank you, Mr. Aki. Okay. Do you understand? Share your yeah. video later on. So otherwise, you know the things we may be uh, disturb. Okay. Okay. So we really appreciate questions from Mr. Eki, but if 
uh, uh, we would like to talk about that later in the yeah, uh, so, Q and A so. session. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, any other questions not, related not... to the materials? Ah. Quick questions, probably. If it's not, you can continue, Professor okay. Shakir. Okay. So, 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 uh, then what we are next ring is the next ring is ring of uh, relation numbers. So. What about the derivation on, on the ring of uh, relation numbers? So if you take R is equal to R is equal to Q. So similar, uh, you know, like like ring of integer means here you know this is uh, P upon Q where P Q belongs to Z and Q is non-zero. So the derivation, if, if you take a D from Q to Q, again, the same result it, it means uh, such that D of P over Q, or you can say any, num any relation number belongs to that we can say D over A is zero over Q also, okay? It's very easy because we have already proved for integer. So look at this number, like uh, we are talking about uh, uh, this, uh, like uh, D A is zero. That means this ring also has a trivial derivation where A belongs to Q. So its proof is also like the same fact let me explain because uh, you know for any a belongs to q we write we write d of a always we write b into a upon in the same form okay so if you look over here, the apply the definition, this is D, then apply definition of derivation. This is what D B into D of B upon A and plus B times, sorry, sorry, this is, okay. I think we will write from next line. We write this is a node D of B into A upon B. And then we write down B into D of A upon B. And because already we proved this uh, B is integer, so this is zero. So this is zero into A upon B. And then we have B times. And this is what you can say d of a upon b now this a is uh, this uh, a is also integer by definition so in so by definition this uh, this is also zero this is also zero okay so this gives you B into A upon B, this is zero. And this gives, this gives, because B is, B is not zero, we have uh, by definition, if we take like A upon B here, then of course this B is non zero. So this gives again here from, uh, we conclude that, that is a D upon b is zero so that means for all a and b are so that means d uh, is zero on rational numbers and now we come uh, another uh, general class so can suppose uh, if you have a ring r that is field Okay, that is field. So if you take this F field, 
and our claim is d if you have derivation on d then this is also that means if you have a map from f to f such that we say this d of a is again zero for all a belongs to f so very interesting question that means a field has trivial derivation so this is very important in fact uh, uh, observation because then uh, with this observation we can conclude on rational number on real number and similarly on complex number okay or in arbitrary field this uh, only trivial derivation exists so to give this proof for more clarification, we do in two part. Okay, what is two part? So when f is finite or f is infinite, means uh, we divide in two cases. First case is finite. Another case is infinite. This is good to, to classify, and then we can give the another uh, example. So, in that case, when you have a uh, when uh, case one, case one, when F is finite and our claim is then we prove that to prove to prove d a is zero for all a in finite field so we know every finite field of uh, since f is finite so note down the about since f is finite, so the characteristic of f is p, yes, and f satisfy f satisfy the identity. It's a very famous identity. We call it uh, a to the power p to the power n is equal to a. This is whole for all a in f where this n is greater than 1. This is, I think, uh, very over. So apply the derivative definition of derivation over there. So we write d of a is equal to d of a to the power p to the power n. OK? By definition, this is p to the power n into d of a and p to the power n minus one. Yes, this is clear. Okay. Now, because characteristic of the r is the uh, characteristic of f is p, so this is you know multiple of p so we always write p into the p to power n minus one and then you write down a to the power p to the power n minus one and because you know the characteristic is p so this is zero okay any term multiple of p is zero so this gives you this gives you d of a is zero for all a belongs to f, where f is finite field. So this is what case one. Okay. Now for the case second case, for the second case, if we consider so we know since v sorry f over f is a 
vector space. F over F is a vector space. Okay. So that means for any A belongs to F, we always write A is equal to A into 1. Yes. We always write A to 1. And this important property of vector space that is d of a is equal to d of a into 1. Can we write, can we write a into d1? And we have already proved because we are using the property of vector space. So alpha maybe look like here uh, it means this is one of the scalar. So this is uh, by the linear property of derivation, this is a times d1. And we already proved d1 is 0. So this is what? This is what? This gives, in fact, uh, you know, uh, from here we conclude that, from here we conclude that da, da, da is 0 for all a belongs to f. So we prove we have proved in case of infinite ring a uh, field this f is also zero. So in conclusion, we say uh, d zero on q, d zero on r r means real field zero on c, all of them. No need to explain uh, further. So in in, in short. On a, the, the, there is no non-zero derivation on X. However, in, in ring, we have C, uh, a non-zero derivation on ring. The, the first is, I, I know the F is a field. So this is Fx, the ring of polynomial. Okay. And then we define D from R to R by del Fx equal to F dx X, del F over del X for all fx belongs to f. This is what we call usual derivative. So this is example on ring. And for, uh, for the non-commutative ring, we consider two by two ring, this uh, over z, then the ring of integer, we have a map of this form that is a, b, c, and zero minus b, c, zero. So it is easy to check this is a non-zero derivation on two by two ring, uh, means uh, matrix ring. So in that case, we have R uh, of this form, A, B, and C, D, and such that A, B, C, D belongs to ring of integer and we define derivation d from r to r by d of a b c d of this is 0 and minus b and c is 0. So this is what the non-zero example on ring of two by two matrices. Very classical example for any algebra is the following. For a fixed integer A, define D from R to R by DX is equal to X A. Here, in fact, if you remember in a very early second or third slide, be using this, you know, uh, uh, Lie product. So we consider here in the Lie product. So if you verify this, this if you have a, a d of x y, and if you apply the Lie product condition, that is x y a, apply the commutator identity as in, as b told you earlier, we use uh, frequently this commutator identity because 
they are very helpful when we dealing the different type of computation so this means we have a like a x a y and then we have x y a by the commutator and t and so from here we conclude that this is again dx y and x dy so this is what a, this is what x y so this map uh, we consider here like a, a d, of, a, d of x is equal to is equal to x a this is always exists for any ring commutative non commutative okay this is very very uh, uh, important example and it it gives you know the it looks a uh, uh, in play important role in functional analysis mean in other but we can say it is you know the, this fill up the gap between the uh, functional analysis and algebra okay so and of course when you have a non commutative uh, ring or commutative in case of commutative it becomes zero because this x is the leap order is zero so in case of commutative algebra this is this becomes a trivial example okay so such type of derivation we call inner such type of derivation we call inner and this is uh, 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 noted by ia we use this notation later on so this is a, a notation for inner range now rings with derivation have been studied in numerous papers during last uh, few decades and several questions have been considered mainly about the relationship between the derivation and the structure under which we define the derivation and particularly prime and semi prime ring is one of the most interesting and classical area dealing with derivations so this was the first result on derivation on prime rings derivation in prime rings proceeding american mass society 1957 this was long gap about more than 30 to 40 years people not thinking about this idea and after 1989 people were thinking over uh, this paper and proved many interesting results even there are a lot of applications of derivations we discuss later on so let me give this some generalization and the motivational uh, problems by result of postner so he established two very uh, stacking results in the case of prime rings the specific result of postner's theorem come in literature these two theorem commonly known as postner first and second theorem so first we talk about second theorem and then we later we talk about the first theorem okay so let me talk give the explanation about theorem second so let r be a prime ring which i admits a non zero derivation d such that x dx in the center and i'll let you know we we have already defined such type of map for all x belongs to r then r must be commutative so let me explain about the importance of this result and what are the problems concerning with this classical theorem let me give you some general idea and then we go one by one 
So let R be any ring. R be we are talking associativity. Associative ring. And consider the identity. Consider the identity. That is, uh, we have fx, y, and then we have uh, x, g, y, and we say this is zero. For all x, y belongs to R, and the f and g, f and g, they are mapped from R to R. Look at this identity, in fact, because I want to give you the proper uh, the, the idea about the problem concerning with, with the derivation. So this identity, if you look here, okay, so uh, what are the solution of this identity? So once you have a commutative ring, then you know the previous solution. Okay, so if you fix the ring this, then you find the structure of these maps defined over R. This is one way. The, what is the another way? Another way is a, if you fix the position of maps F and G, maybe in case F is equal to, uh, in case of uh, F is equal to Z, okay. The first relation, this implies fx, y, and x, f, y is equal to 0. Okay? So, if you fix this uh, map f and this, sorry, g, then we find the structure of r. And if we fix the structure of ring, then we find out the structure of map involving these identity. So this classical theorem deals with such type of things. Here in theorem two, we fix this ring R. That means we take this associative ring, this is prime. And then we describe the structure of these maps, if you look like this identity, this identity is written here. If, if you compare this uh, identity, that means we have x d x minus d x x, and this is what belongs to zeta. So if you compare this here, we fix this d, this is non-zero, okay, non-zero mapping, and satisfy this condition, and then we describe the structure of prime, that is R to be prime. So this is the first and one of the most classical result in the theory of derivations, rings, and algebras. So, uh, if any, any derivation satisfies this condition, we call centralizing because we compare this derivation to the centralizing map defined earlier. Okay. So, in fact, this second theorem says the existence of non zero centralizing derivation of R implies R to be commuted. On the other hand, on the other hand, if we Take R is non commutative. On the other hand, if we take R is non commutative with same condition X DX belongs to Z R and R is prime, R is prime and R is non commutative. This implies, this implies D is zero. So trivial map, okay?
So three members are they satisfy the answer. So this is what the real meaning of this classical result. This classical result, in fact, uh, very very influential, and at this it introduce what we defined in in earlier commuting and centralizing maps. The topic arise the topic arising directly from Posner's second theorem. Okay, another version uh, of this type of map, we refer the following survey article by Matthew Brasher, commuting maps, very, very important, give several application. If somebody are interested on this type of map, please go through these maps. And uh, okay, so let me give some classical generalization of this uh, famous result in several uh, way and for different type of uh, uh, derivations. Kamal, yeah. <clears throat> How much yeah, time we have in this session? Okay, the time left is about 32 minutes for the session one to end. So you still okay, have okay. half an hour. Okay, okay, good. So, <clears throat> yes, any other question at this stage? Because we give just basic background of uh, the topic we are discussing. Uh, maybe Kamal can uh, present uh, Mr. Eki's uh, question. Oh, okay, sure. Okay, so uh, Professor Shakir, uh, yes. regarding to the questions from Mr. Eki, I would like to share a, a picture mm -hmm. sent by uh, by Mr. Eki. But I'm sorry, uh, Mem Gantina, I, I don't think that I'm still able to share the screen due to the system. Okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> so this is the... Uh, this is the picture, Professor Shakira. About but I, to... the picture is not uh, visible. Uh... Okay, can you see now, no, Professor? No, that's... no. No? Okay. Wait. Uh, Ma'am Gantina, can you see the, the picture that I share? Uh, yes, I already Somebody shared can... your screen, Tama. Be... Oh, we are see from either. our side. We are not uh, able to see the picture. Kamal. Okay. Uh, yes, I cannot see it either. What about now? Still not visible. No, no, no. Okay, I'm so sorry. I think. In fact, some... uh, I think I am using. Uh, the notebook as well as other thing maybe uh, but the other should be uh, must be see but nobody say about this picture maybe come now, on now try again. Please, uh, try again okay okay what about okay, now okay yes First i can all? see it okay yes and you, now, now now yeah yeah now it is uh, no no it's it's gone again okay Okay, wait a minute. It should be right now shared clearly, I bet. Okay. Okay, thank you. So this is the questions from Mr. Eki. So uh, for Mr. Eki, would you like to say something clarifying the picture uh, that you sent? Uh, this, uh, I find this what this is the product. Come on. Yeah. Okay. This this uh, this is the product and the the other side. Yeah, is wait quotient. a minute. Thank you. Uh, it's the same derivative. Uh, f times g equal d derivative. Uh, f divide g. And how about the uh, derivative f divide g equal derivative f times one per 
ji thank you sir adin i am asking this because they, they, let me get this you what you take here this is f dot or what you call this f dot q g and this is equal to d f upon g this quotient hello yes sir adin yes this is f upon g quotient per uh divide 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 yes and oh divide this is divi g. oh uh, i don't know divide g the the idea is the same I, as i told you the, the mm -hmm. idea is same this is the quotient of function okay, quotient of function quotient function okay saladin yeah yeah i, I see, idea a same idea this quotient of functions yes this is very common very common Okay. Uh, what about number one? Is the same or not? No, no. If you have a division, this division. Okay. Yes, this division. So, so the same yeah, provided okay. g is not zero. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I understand. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Yes. I think it's all clear, Mr. Eki. No, any further questions? No, no. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions from uh, other participants? Okay, I'm afraid not. So you can uh, so proceed continue? to the next. Continue. Yeah, you so, still have twenty five minutes, Professor. So again, we share our screen. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is visible, come on. Yeah, visible. Okay, thank you. So let me proceed uh, uh, about the uh, generalization, extension of Posner's second theorem. So uh, in the year 1973, uh, my very old colleague, Autar, extended the Posner's theorem for Lee and Jordan ideals. The result which we want to mention is the following. Let R be a prime ring of characteristic different from two and three. I hope the idea of characteristic is clear. Anyone have doubt, please raise your hand or ask me. Let R be a prime ring. Prime ring. I think uh, uh, the prime ring or uh, the, the characteristic idea is same. There's no problem. I just give because maybe some of is not. R is prime. R is prime means A R R is set to prime ring if A R B is uh, you know zero ideal implies either either a is zero or b is zero okay and uh, so this is meaning of the primary in this other way if we call r is semi prime r is Semi prime, a, in, in case if A R A is zero implies A is zero, then R is said to be semi prime. So, in case of prime ring, our characteristic different from two and three, and these non zero derivation, U is a Lie ideal of R such that U D U in the center of R, then U contain in ZR. That means U is center. Ideal U, and as in, in the, I think make more clear, this uh, U in center. So if you take U is equal to R, we get result of a uh, person, first term, Posner uh, results. So this is the first generalization 
uh, after you know uh, uh, 57. This result was proved again in 1973. So this was the long gap of this part. And another result in this direction is for the Jordan ideal. Is of course in Jordan ideal, the same thing happens. However, uh, in, in moreover, he settled the other problem when R has characteristic two. And I let you know in case of ring of characteristic two, the, the concept of Lee and Jordan ideal are coincides. So he settled this problem in arbitrary case and prove the following result. Let R be a prime ring of characteristic two. Let D be a non-zero derivation of R. Let U be a Lee or Jordan ideal. And the subring of R, which is commuting, sorry, centralizing, means decentralizing, then U is commutative. That means not whole R is commutative, but its subpart is commutative, okay? So this is the another result. And then uh, in case of semi-prime ring, uh, Bale and Martindale studied Posner's theorem for semi-prime rings. And in fact, he proved the following result. Let R be a semi-prime ring, U a non-zero left ideal. If you, if R admits the derivation D, which is of course non-zero on U instead of instead of taking R non-zero on if you look on on the prime ring by Posner's theorem, uh, he taking D non-zero on R, but in present case, in present case, they are considered you know R and they say U. Okay, this is U, right? So instead of taking D is non-zero on R, they take D is non-zero on U. And then this R contains a non-zero central idea. Non-zero, this is also important results, gives various uh, uh, import, the importance lie of this result because uh, you know, uh, the semi-prime ring has very close connection with functional analysis. In particular, they are very close friend of C star algebra, one numen algebra, and you know the operator algebra, and so on and so forth. So this result is, has a lot of application in functional analysis because of the same primes. Okay. And then in the year 1988, Lansky established a more general result of for the Lie ideas of any characteristic. Okay. That means uh, let he proved the following result. Let R be a prime ring. R is prime, so this R is prime. This U is non-commutative. D is non-zero on, on R. And U, D, U in the center of R. Then R set R is commutative. Or R characteristic of R is 2. And R satisfy S4. We already give example of S4. OK? So there are two possibilities. Either ring is commutative or R satisfy S4 with characteristic of R is 2. This is the result by proved by Lansky in the year 1987. For the more general version, uh, we consider angel type conditions and it has very close relation with the nth power and the uh, commutator. So for all x by belongs to R. Define x by define x by uh, first uh, commutator this and then kth commutator defined by this for k greater than equal to two. Okay, for fixed integer n and the angel condition is a polynomial uh, uh, x in x and y in non commutative variables. 
So this, uh, then with this definition, the first result induction by proved by uh, Joseph Bookman, one of the leading member, or other hand, we can say uh, the father figure in the field of uh, derivation in rings algebra. There was a big group, and the first group and theory of derivations is consist uh, uh, Professor uh, Bookman and his team, University of Maribor, Sylvania. This is the first group who make contribution in the field of derivations. And then follows by our group, Indian group, follows um, after that one. So uh, what in fact Bookman did, let me see. He can generalize the Posner's theorem for a commutator. Let me explain about this map before we go in detail. So what does mean? They say this map is centralizing on R. What does mean? That means if you, if you remember the definition of centralizing map, okay? Centralizing map, if you remember, that means I have from R, I just give it because make connection and the importance of this result. So F X is in the center of R, then we call F is central, centralizing map. Here, what they say, look at here, this is centralizing. So that means, so this means, this means uh, we have a map, which map? The same map, this. This we are talking, okay? So what does mean? This means IFX, IFX, now this. This is centralizing, wow. So this is what we say in particular, why this this is uh, this map this map centralized that means this belongs to zr okay or in particular in particular we write belongs to ZR for all X belongs to R. Now, like in the in the form this was in, in the form of the you know the commutator. So this is equivalently this is equivalently you can write down okay one more bracket one more bracket X close bracket, then close, then again, and again. Uh, right, maybe right in general X, this is equal to zero. This is meaning of this result is. So what does mean? So this is, in fact, you know, this is of commutator of order, commutator of order one. This is a commutator of order two. This is what the commutator of order three. So this is in fact the commutator of order three, if you remember this. Okay, so this is the meaning. So if this is centralizing on R for all X by, then D is zero. So what are the conditions? R is prime, non-commutative, okay? And satisfy this condition, then in that case, D is zero. So this that means this uh, Bookman result is the extension of Posner second theorem for commutator of order two. Okay, this is the meaning. And then further, uh, Bookman and Rosha uh, Ashraf. Uh, Ashraf is from uh, AMO. Algebra group, he is one of the leading uh, men 
in, in algebra group. So Professor Ashraf and Bookman uh, generalized this result in more way. Look over here. This is what let R be prime ring of characteristic different from two. And suppose uh, there exists identity map F such satisfying this condition. That means this is what? This is a commutator of order two is zero. In that case, Fx is zero. So that means if you if you compare this result in term of a, a commutator, so that means uh, Fx, Fx, commutator of order one, and this is what? Commutator of order two, this is zero, okay? And this case, Fx, x is zero for all x belongs to r okay so this is what you know this is this commutator of order one so this is the way to generalize uh, second generalization of Posner's theorem for commutator of order two and then again lasky give the class this Posner second theorem for, for the kth order commutator. What this BK kth order commutator? This is for commutator of order two. If you look on this, then Lasky in fact proved this uh, result for commutator of order commutator of order k. That means you write down k over here. So this is result. Let R be a prime ring i a non-zero ideal of r if d from r to r is a derivation non-zero derivation such that dx x kth commutator is zero for all x belongs to k and k is positive integer greater than zero then r must be commutative so for k is equal to to we get Posner's result. For k is equal to 3, we get Bookman's result. Okay, in that case. That's why this is the uh, more general result of more generalized version of Posner's second theorem. And very means in the year 1957, none other than Lasky. Again, studied the same problem for semi prime ring. I know the class of semi prime ring is more general than prime ring. So, as I told you, it's important semi prime ring has very close connection with, with the functional analysis. And so, the results on semi prime ring are more important than prime rings. So, let me explain the the result let R be a semi prime ring and D is non zero derivation of R and uh, I as non zero left ideal. If for some positive integer K0, K1, K2, Kn, and for all X belongs to I, the identity whole, then either DI is zero and left ideal, okay, or S D I and D R I are contained in non-zero central ideal of R, okay, non-zero central ideal of R. So, then in particular, if R is prime, then R is commutative. So this is uh, the famous and classical generalization of Posner second theorem for K commutators. Let me just uh, give another idea what we call commuting maps. As uh, you know, uh, if, if you look about this map, because as I told you, in the beginning about the relation between the derivation and the identity. 
if you have this functional identity like this x x is zero in certain class of rings okay like for all x belongs to r so then if we fix this r if we fix this r okay then we we then we describe the structure of this map and already you know the f is map f f is the map from r to r f is a map from r to r and such that such that fx x is zero that means what does mean the same as i remember this is what we call fx x minus x fx this is same so this is what it means fx x minus x this equal to this okay this is one type of relation and we call it the functional identity so as i told you the the environment of derivation in algebra so if we fix the ring or algebra we describe the structure of map and if we fix the structure of map then we describe the structure of rings and algebra so this result is give the another direction for characterizing the commuting and centralizing map so in fact this result uh, is uh, proved in the 1983 by uh, the method bracer or sylvanian and uh, again uh, the old group of sylvanian mathematicians and he characterized in fact uh, uh, let r be let uh, come on uh, the first uh, result let r be a prime ring if an identity mapping f from r to r is commuting commuting means f f x y is equal to zero then there exists a lambda lambda in the extended centroid of r in fact the extended centroid of r since r is prime okay so we are, the extended centroid we are talking about the uh, super rings like the martindale uh, rings but in particular if r is prime then this uh, extended centroid is field so if this lambda in in c then the commuting map, this commuting map has this particular form. This gives a particular form that is f can be written as lambda x plus mu x. Okay, where lambda, as I know, where this mu is another map from R to this C, where C is the extended center line. So this is what the another, this is the another characterization, I mean, and the, the second version of Posner's second theorem, and that uh, introduced the new area of research that is called theory of commuting and centralizing map as we already discussed earlier okay hope uh, uh, you understand so let me summarize there are two way dealing problem with the derivation rings one way to describe the structure of ring another way to describe the structure of maps involving the functional identity or differential identities. Uh, Kamal? Yeah, Professor. So now I think it's 130. We continue. I'm, I'm sorry, our... can you please to? No, no, this is, I think uh, we now on reach on time or we are still have time or we continue. We still have a time for about eight minutes to end the session one, Professor. Okay. So it's so up to you to continue. Let, let, let me just give a brief about uh, uh, another uh, 
uh, problem. Okay. So, okay. So, I already, uh, when we define the notion of derivation, and then uh, if you look over the idea, uh, as uh, D a map from R to R, which satisfy D of X, Y is equal to D X, Y, X, D1. And uh, you know, X, Y belongs to R. And we call this map a derivation. Okay. Now take X is equal to Y. Take X equal to Y in one. We have X square for all X belongs to R. And we call then we call this D, sorry, we call this D Jordan. Derivation. And uh, if you remember, the, <clears throat> in fact, the idea of uh, Jordan derivation is comes by the, this note because this is, you know, this is the Jordan product. If you open this Jordan product, okay, that means uh, this uh, A, I, I mentioned in the earlier, uh, the, this notation is familiar. A, O, B means A, B, B, A, and we call it Jordan. product. So, uh, if we apply D over here and calculate all these things, okay, so we have the idea of Jordan derivation on rings comes by the definition of, by the consideration of this type of identity, means by just we take a, a Jordan product instead of a Lee product, oh sorry, ordinary product, okay. So, this idea is what has been uh, constructed a ring in new uh, as in a ring uh, called Jordan ring by defining this part A, uh, Z, A, A Jordan product B is equal to AB plus BA. And this new product is well defined, of course. So this gives the idea of Jordan derivation. However, in some cases, if you make calculation, if R is two tars and three, if R is if R is, if R is two tars and three ring, that means two x s is equal to zero implies x is equal to zero. Okay, this is the this is the meaning of two tars and three. So in that case, these two notion and notion means this. And this, they are coincide. Okay, so such derivation we call it a uh, Jordan derivation. However, let me make connection because as we take here actually to buy in the previous definition, then we get this there is square. So it is natural. Every derivation is a Jordan derivation. However, the converse need not be true in general. So, let me give you example for more clarification. So, let us say uh, ha have a ring which is uh, 2003 and satisfy 
a x is equal to z this is a special type of ring with this these conditions okay provided x is not equal to y and consider a map d from r to r such that d x is equal to a x it look like a uh, very familiar friend we call it multiply so that means this is the this is the example of and it, i just not, note down for more a x okay for all x belongs to r r has property x a x is zero but x a y is non zero then this may be take a jordan derivation which is not a derivation is easy to check an easy exercise maybe those who are interested in the discussion can be checked yourself so and now so that means there exists a jordan derivation which are not a derivation so natural question arises under what condition or under what situation these two concepts are coincide that means in what type of ring or algebra these two notions are coincide this was the problem and deal by very famous mathemat mathematician of that time uh hasti and these notions already been uh given his very classical books of ring theory topics in ring theory and the problem is already and solution is given okay so hastein himself give the proof uh, the, the the solution of the problem that the problem is as i mentioned under what condition every jordan derivation is a derivation so in the in the same year uh, as we mentioned about the classical problem by posner in the same year and perhaps in the same paper uh, they prove both result simultaneously so one and it means a posner problem directly related to the, the structure of prime rings however the hastein problem directly related to the structure of jordan derivation so let me give you the statement of uh, uh, classic result to to hastein the result which we want to refer is the following if r is prime ring of characteristic different from 2 then every jordan derivation of r is derivative so that means the class of rings that is prime with the condition the characteristic of r must be 2 different from 2 then these two notions are same coincide that means derivation and jordan derivation are same in case of prime ring of characteristic 2 later the same the, the hastey result was generalized uh, by author in the year 1984 for a uh, square close lee ideal a square close lee ideal i to be explained in and very uh, i'll leave the definition that means uh, you have additive subgroup you have additive subgroup that means u okay means this is lee ideal Uh, this is what uh, Lee 
idea okay now if uh, u belongs to u and uh, u square also belongs to this u okay for all u belongs to u then we call this u is square closed linear square closed linear id so author uh, established the uh, uh, hastin theorem for square closed linear ideal that is du square is equal to du u u du for all u in u and then du b is equal to that means this is jordan derivation and now this is what a derivation so that means in case of uh, two torsion free uh, sorry a ring of courtesy different from two prime and usually ideal this condition uh, remain same and then in the year 1989 bracer prove and give a very short proof of hastin theorem for prime as well as semi prime ring for the prime ring the version was published in the bulletin of arsen mass society in the same year however for semi prime ring the result was published in proceeding some american mass society in the year 1918 he proved the following result let r b let r b a two torsion free semi prime ring and let d from r to r b jordan derivation in this case d is a derivation so that means if r is two torsion free semi prime ring then the, the every jordan derivation is a derivation so this was uh, general uh, porson's result for uh, semi prime ring yes kamal i think uh, hello hello professor uh, i think we we should uh, stop here yeah uh, if you wish we are going to have a q and a session for the first yeah, session yeah. so i think we should we should go for our question answer session okay okay professor uh, shakir uh, thank you so much uh, such a great and detailed lectures and uh, let's give a, uh, an uh, an applause to professor shakir thank you and we have seen uh, demonstrations on the derivation uh and jordan derivations of her rings and that was the first session of the today's event and i believe that some of our uh, participants here have some questions to to ask and hence i will open the the first q and a session for uh 20 minutes so i would like to invite uh fellow participants if you have any questions just please to raise your hands and unmute your microphone and ask directly to professor shakir okay uh, first question from uh, mr muammar musa hello mr yes. would you like to open your mic uh, excuse me thank you very okay. much uh, uh excuse me professor i want to ask a question about the derivation concept uh, here you have derivation concept uh, related to rings uh, do you know any generalization of a uh, derivation concept in module theory or has there been any research on derivation on modules thank you very much uh, uh, mamud uh, thanks for your nice question because this question need attention Uh, because many i know in indonesia uh, has a big group of model theory so this is national question okay yes uh, the answer is there are little bit work on 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 derivations on modules but not much more few papers are there uh, in the literature but uh, the 
idea is not uh, very strong. So this is the open area for researchers who wish to do in derivations on models and uh, algebraic point of view. Another uh, answer is the, if you consider uh, the module in functional analysis, so I think there is a uh, much work than the algebraic concepts. But in case of algebraic point of view, there are very few paper, very few paper I, uh, on, on derivation on models. Oh, okay, so there has been some research about that, but yes, very few. Uh, I would say very few. Uh, two or three papers uh, uh, is there on model derivation on models, but exactly the idea is not what we did means what algebraic did. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Thank you very the much, most, professor. Mo, the most of the people, I think, they there are a big group in Iran. They are working on derivations on models of Vanak algebra. So that means the study on, on not algebraic point of view, they, they, they study mostly on functional asset point of view. So this is the is, uh, open area. If somebody who are interested to do derivations on modules or uh, an algebraic point of view. Oh, so, so yeah. Uh, the, uh, it's, uh, there are some yeah. uh, research, but it's related to Banach algebra. Yeah, or... Banach algebra. Okay, thank you very much, Professor. Thank okay. you very much, welcome. moderator. Welcome. Okay, thank you, Mr. Muammar. Uh, any follow-up questions from Mr. Muammar? So enough? Can I stop my okay. screen sharing so come to face-to-face? -to -face? Uh, yeah, if, if you wish to stop this, the, the, the screen, yeah. it'll be love to, yeah. Yeah, it's so okay. we come face to face and uh, we, we, we talk about the people. Yes. Okay. So I think uh, Ma'am Gantina has raised her hand. So this is your time to ask the question, Ma'am. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Kamal. Uh, thank you, Professor Shakirali. Uh, can I see your notes again? Sorry? Can I see? Oh, uh, your notes? So that, that's why I'm saying <laughs> I, I just finished. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, just give me a minute. Yes, now it is on. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, the handwriting one. I want to ask um, the 11, the page so, of the okay. 11. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Oh, uh, the the handwriting one, uh, professor. Handwriting. Yes. I think okay. Oh, just give me a minute because I I just uh, oh shit. So I think it was one session. No, and then. How to go back? Session two. How go on three? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, eleven, eleven, eleven. Ah, uh, okay. Are this no, no, this is not. I go one by one. In time. Ah, this. Um, you share the PDF one. PDF one. Uh, this, uh, 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 yes. Right now, you uh, the handwriting not yet. Uh, okay. So just, just I'm going one by one. This. No. 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 Huh? Just just wait because I'm not sharing complete screen. That is the problem. Then. Now the full screen. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Screen. Uh, okay. Section then I, I will eleven. check. I will yes. check. Uh, this is. Uh, I will, yeah, okay. Is okay. Yes. Uh, I want to ask. Um, no, no. But uh, but this 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 handwriting has no connection with this right hand side. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. This is, 
I I just coming. Oh. You need handwriting. Yes. 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 This is for uh, derivation. The, this is what? Uh, the eleven page. This is this is eleven page. The example. Oh, uh, the handwriting new section eleven. Okay, but but eleven handwriting. This is for yeah. math. Uh, it's okay. okay. I think huh? I missed something in this page. Uh, is ah, okay. F, is F commute? Uh, in okay, I have commute means okay. uh, just I I I begin. I ask I have commute means I have I have commute implies if this is zero, yes, this is oh. meaning. Okay. okay, and let let me maybe if there is, I think if this is belongs to ZR, then we say F is centralizing. F is centralizing. Yeah. Centralizing. That means just one minute. I I make kind of, so this can be right. Means uh, in case of commutator, we write F X X. So this is first commutator. And then we write x again. So this is so these are equivalent things. Oh, I understand okay. your your intention. Okay, okay, okay. okay? Uh, Professor, thank you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you are welcome. Yes, any other please? Okay, thank you, ma'am. Uh, any other questions from other participants? We do still have time. So should you have questions, please, to raise your hand. Yes, okay. Uh, we have uh, Ma'am Nikan Prima Puspita. Okay. Yes, Nikan. Professor. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. Okay, Ma'am Nikan, uh, I, I think uh, that you are still muted. Can you please to unmute your microphone? Yeah. Okay, okay, thank, thank you. you. Okay. How are you, Prof? Yes, fine. Okay. Pusta, how are yes. you? Uh, fine, so, uh, okay. In derivation of a ring R, R is a not need to be a ring with identity. Okay. Is, is it true? Yeah, is it true that uh, yeah. R already, is not need yes, to be? Yes, I, I already give the example. I think uh, when you consider two by two uh, matrix ring, uh, let let me just give me give me wait 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 i give you the clear uh, example of a uh, ring with identity if you have this ring okay this maybe you can drop this a b zero then this ring becomes with 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 the identity Okay, I'm afraid that professor is act, uh, the, the professor's connection is acting up. So kindly to wait, professor, to get back to the to the session. Yes. Thank you, ma'am.
Yep, I believe that Professor Shakir Ali is in trouble when it comes to the connection. So uh, kindly wait for several minutes for Professor to, to, to come back to the session. Kindly wait, Mem Niken, thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay. I'm sorry, it was just connection problem. Hello, okay, Professor. Uh, yes. Nikim? Yeah, Professor. Oh, okay. Yes. So, uh, could you repeat your question? Yeah. But... Yes, I think you are talking about derivation on, on ring a ring without identity. I recommend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay, take, take any ring of a particular matrix, is okay. Mm -hmm. So it is ring with our identity and then define derivation uh, like two by two matrices you uh, have A and B. Mm -hmm. Can we share just I, I, I will like to share the screen. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 Um, so, Nick, this is still visible? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. It's visible? Yes. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Yes, the screen is visible. Yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So, so let me, let me uh, give example. Mm -hmm. So if we have a two by two matrix like this, consider A, B, zero, zero. Okay, A mm -hmm. and B belongs to G. Of course, this is ring without identity, clear? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. And take D from R to R such that D of uh, X means D of A, B, zero. And then take map of this form. This is zero, zero. And this is, you can say A, zero. Or, or you take, this is zero. B zero. Then of course verify these they, these are they, this is the derivation uh, on R where R is ring with identity. So this is uh, happens. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Professor, thank you. Okay. If the ring R have a multiplication identity. Uh, is it there are any special characteristic for D when R is a ring with multiplication identity? Uh, I do not uh, very, very, you know, family means uh, not very usual. We are dealing with ring with identity. We always, uh, uh, yes, if, if you are working you know the algebra is play important role but in ring it i think it's not necessary oh, yeah. when when you take like you know algebra it is uh, yes it is important means a special class of algebra is like uh, where the, the map has already been characterized so where 
the use of identity. But in links, I think there's no such importance. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, you're okay. welcome. Thank you, uh, Ma'am Nikan, for the question. And thank, thank you, you Professor. Yes. And yeah. Uh, uh, Fellow participants, uh, thank you very much for all excitement. However, I'm afraid that the time uh, for the Q&A session is up. Uh, so we are about to enter. So, uh, Nikhil, can be my best yeah, message salam to Professor Inda. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Professor Inda is uh, chat me, then see informed mm -hmm. that there is yes. seminar, webin, seminar, the seminar for, for me. Okay, I think Professor Shakir is still uh, dealing with uh, bad connections. So yeah, thank you very much fellow participants for all excitement. However, I'm afraid that the uh, Q&A session one, uh, the time for the Q&A session one is up and we're about to enter a break for uh, 30 minutes. And yeah, Professor Shakir Ali and also uh, all fellow participants, you might take a break and see you in the next 30 minutes. Goodbye.
Okay, good afternoon, everyone. So uh, I'm back. So how was your break? I really hope that uh, it refreshes you and makes you be more ready for the next session. Okay. Um, well, we're waiting for Professor um, Shakir Ali to, to join the meeting. Uh, please, I, I would like to ask you for cooperation to always uh, turn off your microphone unless that you are allowed to speak. And also, if, if it's possible, you can uh, turn on your camera so that we can see your presence. Thank you.
Halo. Ya, halo. Yes, Roman. Oh, is this Professor Shakir? Halo. Halo. Can you hear yes, yes. me? Is uh, I'm audible? Oh, uh, yeah, you're audible. But... Slide is visible? Sorry. And the slide is visible as well. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Professor, yeah. that we didn't acknowledge yes. you because uh, your name was changed to Mohjilani. So we didn't recognize. No, no, just, just we are facing problem of connectivity, please. Mm -hmm. Wait a few minutes. Just wait a few minutes. Come on, it is visible. Yeah, yeah, professor, it's it's visible right now. Can you can you hear my voice, professor? This is problem of connectivity. So yeah, and. Uh, my, uh, I'm audible. Come on. Yes, now it's Come audible, on. Professor. Hello. Hmm? Okay, okay. I'm very okay. sorry for disturbance because this is of what the current. No, that's problem. okay, Professor. Okay. It's all fine. So, <laughs> I'm. Uh, let me let me begin. Yes, you want to say something, or I can just start. No, you can. Uh, you can. You can start the session now, Professor. Hello. Huh? Kamal? Yeah, Professor. Are you okay? Yeah. Can we... uh, I'm out, uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. You are audible. Yes. Should we start? Yeah, you can start right now, Professor. If, uh, if you're ready, you can start the session. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. okay. 
so uh, okay so uh, let me come on the another type of derivation and we call it uh, jordan triple derivation mm -hmm. see so let me give the idea how this the notion of jordan triple de derivation come to the existence so we start with the uh, uh, map so that is a uh, d is the map as uh, okay so d is a map as usual from r to r and we define the d of x we turn to write this is d in place of d already defined in x square and x x are more i think not Clear the first term, so let me define one slide x dx one. Okay, so if we So then if we replace x by x plus uh, y in one, and we will get the equation of this time. Sorry to interrupt you, Professor. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, I'm afraid that your 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 screen somehow unsh unshared. So you can please, can you please to share your screen again? Okay. It's unshared. Okay. I'm so sorry for interrupting no, you. No, no. This is from, I don't know what happens. Now it is okay. Now it's feasible, really feasible. Thank okay. you. Okay. 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 So let me give this idea. Then, if we replace this, and then we'll get you know this uh, equation becomes x is five plus x y y x and plus y square apply this and this this additive and so we write d of x square and d of x y y uh, this is uh, sorry x and we like break it, then the y is pi. Now, so this term, apply the definition. So this is again dx x, x dx, and this is dx y, y x. And similarly, we write down Come on. Yeah, Professor. Okay, okay. I'm I thinking again problem. Please, if there is problem, then just just uh, send uh, call me a message, please. Okay, noted. Thank you. Okay, and then I by x plus y and calculate combining this is the call equation. 
true. And similarly, if we write down an another way of this equation, that means we compute uh, d of x y by x whole square by another way that is uh, d of x by by x plus x by by x and then we write down x by by x and d of by x so this is equation we say three and this we call equation two so combining combining two and three Okay, hello, Professor. Hmm? Sir, Professor, it's unshared again. Why? Yeah, it must be due to the uh, internet connections. I'm afraid. Okay, fellow participants, uh, are we really, uh, we really. Uh, ask you for uh, patience for waiting uh, our fellow speaker to rejoin. Okay. Hello, Professor. Hey, hey, Professor uh, Professor Shakir, am I audible yes, to you now? You are audible, but I think there is a problem. I think uh, Kamal. Yeah. Am I audible now? Because uh, we found the that your voice is somehow lagging, and and as well as it's a queen.
Okay, fellow participants, uh, we always want to remind you to be always patient, and we are going to do our best to approach uh, Professor Shakir, and uh, we hope that we can continue our lecture as, as soon as possible. Thank you. Hello, Professor. Hi, Professor. Am I audible? Okay. Just, just give me one minute. I'm connecting okay. some device, okay? Okay, sure. Okay. It is visible. Uh, come, uh. Uh, the, sh the the screen no no the screen the screen okay yeah it's it's visible yeah now it is okay Kamal yeah it's okay uh, I cannot uh, use uh, you know uh, uh, means both my writing pad because I'm mm -hmm. talking from other okay let let me let me come on discussion on where we left in fact so okay. we will inshallah. Okay, uh, so this is what we are. Uh, I give idea about Jordan triple derivation. Kamal is slides is visible. I am audible. 
you're audible and the slide is clearly okay, visible. I, Thank I'm you. Sorry because I'm not, uh, cannot use my pen to explain in more detail, but anyway, let me come on. Uh, the another, another type of derivation and we call Jordan tipple derivation. So Jordan tipple derivation, D of R is an IT mapping D from R to R, uh, which involving you know this type of map. So this we call Jordan triple derivation, in fact. So that means D of A B is equal to D A B A A D B A. And in fact, uh, as as we discuss uh, right now by you know uh, calculation, if we have a Jordan derivation and if we linearize the map, if we linearize this map, and then uh, make some substitution and calculate, we will, we will get this equation, in fact. So this we call of Jordan triple derivation because of the involvement of three elements, A, B, A. Now, if we take B is equal to A, then it becomes a D to the power A3. So the idea is same as in case of Jordan derivation, okay? So uh, when R is two torsion three, then uh, every Jordan tip, every every Jordan derivation is a Jordan triple derivation. However, again the converse statement does not uh, hold uh, in case of uh, does not hold in general. So uh, it is clear that if R is two torsion free, then any Jordan derivation is Jordan triple derivation, but converse need not be true in general. A famous result due to Mathis Brasher, a uh, Slovenian algebra is again, uh, gave the uh, converse part in the case of semi-prime ring. That is any Jordan triple derivation of two torsion free semi prime ring is a derivation. So, in case of two torsion free semi prime ring, every Jordan uh, derivation is Jordan triple derivation. However, it is that means uh, 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 it is also true in case of prime ring. Okay. Now, we come on the new type of uh, map where we are interested in fact. So lift derivation, in fact, the idea of lift derivation, in fact, in the setting of non-commutativity. Once R is commutative, then this notion is same as uh, uh, look at definition first, then we give you the idea. And, and identity mapping delta from R to R is said to be left derivation if delta of x y is equal to x delta y plus y delta x. So if you compare the definition of derivation, so here, this delta, if R is commutative, then this delta you take on this side, then it is same as a uh, 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 notion of derivation. So that means in case of non-commutative ring, the idea of left derivation is play an important role. So that is, uh, if you look over, it's uh, uh, definition. However, uh, the as far as the example is concerned, we have already discussed in uh, two by two matrix ring or three by three matrix ring. Okay, and making it's the best way to calculate left derivation in non-commutative ring by considering a ring of a uh, uh, two by two matrix or three by three matrix upper triangular. Then like you, if you have ring three by three upper triangular, then uh, like zero A B in first row and second row zero zero C, and the last row is zero zero. So this is the ring of upper triangular matrices uh, over any uh, ring, and then you take 
मैं फ्रॉम डेल्टा ओके दैट इज आर टू आर एंड डिफाइन डेल्टा ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स इज जीरो ए जीरो 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 इन थर्ड रो एंड जीरो जीरो इन सेकेंड रो देन दिस बीकम्स आ लेफ्ट डेरिवेशन however this is not a derivation so that means the idea of uh, left derivation play an important role in the theory of uh, non commutative rings okay now when we call this may for jordan left derivation if you again in the same way take x is equal to y then you will get this is x delta y x and here is also x delta y so this is x delta y this is x delta y so it is equal to delta x square is equal to 2 x delta x this is of course we are dealing such type map okay and in this because we are talking about non commutativity so that means uh, the idea is same as uh, previous uh, that means we also have a right right derivation in 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 the frame because if we are talking about left then it is also possible we have a uh, left derivation means right derivation in parallel i said yes it is it is uh, exists so similarly if we define a right derivation by applying this delta from right side but Study run spiral. So for simplicity, we will consider only a uh, one side version. That is the left version. I will discuss more. In the same way, uh, we are talking about the relationship between these two maps. That means uh, uh, under what situation? Uh, of course, every left derivation is a Jordan left derivation. however converse need not be true so uh, this is what uh, similar type of result as uh, be uh, proved the hasty in case of uh, uh, this is what uh, left uh, using the model theory little bit model theory i think uh, nikim puspata is here and musa हेलो हेलो या प्रोफेसर आई एम टॉकिंग मूसा इज देयर बिकॉज़ ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द नोशन ऑफ डेरिवेशन इन इन मॉडल्स सो दिस इज द वन फर्स्ट रिजल्ट वेरी वेरी फर्स्ट रिजल्ट वेयर वी यूज लेफ्ट आर मॉड्यूल वर्जन आई थिंक मूसा इज नॉट हियर एनीवे या आई आई थिंक मूसा left the 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 conversation uh, yeah. professor let, let r be a ring and x be a two torsion free and three torsion free left r module and suppose a r x so a is from r but x from a left r module okay in if i have a r two torsion free ring with this condition then then Uh, either this this means uh, uh, there exists a non-zero Jordan left derivation, okay, and then R is commutative. That means uh, in that case, uh, if R has Jordan left derivation, then R will be commutative. So this is the first little deal with the model theory version. It's uh, some sense, and now. then uh, ali gar group uh, uh, me and my colleague uh, professor ashraf professor nadeem are together we generalize these notions and proved some results the first one is uh, let r be a two torsion free prime ring and u be a lie ideal of r such that u is square in u For all you knew, if delta from R to R and additive mapping such that delta square is equal to two U delta U, 
for all u in u, then u is central or delta is vanish on u. So this is the uh, generalization of the previous result given by uh, Bresser and Buckman. And uh, then as we also make a connection, like, uh, you know, uh, generalize the another result that is the uh, Jordan left derivation when Jordan left derivation becomes a left derivation. So in the year 19, uh, sorry, in, in the year 201, we generalize this result for Lie ideal, that is the result that is, uh, let R be a two torsion free prime ring and let U be a Lie ideal of R such that U squared in U and if U in U and D from R to R and iterative mapping such that D square is equal to two U D U for all U in U, then D is a left derivation on U. So yes, the important con conclusion, uh, the corollary of this result, just we take U is equal to R and then we have the following corollary, okay? That means uh, uh, generalized, we, we give the necessary and sufficient condition under what Jordan left derivation is a left derivation. So let R be a two torsion free ring, free prime ring, and delta from R to R be a Jordan left derivation, then D is a left derivation. So in case of two torsion free prime ring, these concepts are concise. So uh, till now we notice the importance of uh, class of prime rings. Many results we discussed till a uh, now they are in case of either prime or semi prime or additive subgroup of prime or semi prime. Then uh, Bracer and Bookman proved every Jordan uh, left derivation a non commutative 2003 3 prime ring. Uh, very recently, uh, my friend from uh, Iran, Hosseini, uh, he able to uh, deleting some requirement like three torsion characteristic he removed. And he proved the following result. Let R be a non-commutative two torsion free prime ring and L from R to R Jordan left derivation. In that case, L is zero. That means non, there is no non-zero derivation on non-commutative two torsion free prime ring. And also he discussed some more uh, result in the same sequence, the like that. Then uh, in the year 2008, Bookman uh, tried to prove his previous result for semi prime ring. So let, let me state his result. Let R be a two torsion free semi prime ring. And let D from R to R be a left Jordan derivation. In this case, D is a derivation which maps R into the center of R. So in case of two torsion free ring, same prime, these notions are coincides. Moreover, Hussein in his paper Give the equivalent, con I mean, similar as 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 I told you, semi prime ring and other prime rings has a close connection with functional states. Like, uh, <clears throat> so the next result deals with the functional analysis that is, uh, let A be a semi simple one half algebra and 
a from a be a Jordan derivation, then I is identically zero on semi simple Banach algebra. And, the, and next result related to range inclusion problem, very classical, famous problem due to Singer and Burmer. Okay, so that uh, under what condition derivation invariant under uh, permittive ideals. So the next result is in the same sequence. Let A be a Banach algebra. L a from a Jordan left derivation and P is a primitive ideal of R, then if A this uh, L P contained in P, then the L A means A the Banach algebra, that means uh, I, this A invariant under Jordan left derivation. So, uh, Come on, another class of derivation because till now we notice, uh, you know, like if you consider the example of uh, uh, inner derivation, if you have example in your mind in inner derivation. So look the inner derivation uh, defined by dx is equal to uh, Lee bracket ax. Since a is fixed, so this uh, derivation means if you think about the uh, additivity in one argument like <clears throat> x. So this is a, a derivation which is additive in, in, in one argument. By the way, if we have a derivation which is additive in both argument, that means left as well as right, then this idea gives a new name that we call it by derivations. So the idea by derivations is given by Muska, G. Muska in the year 1980, and he defines these notions as follows. So an identity mapping D, so this is of course from R class to R, okay? So R square in can say, for R square to R is called symmetric if D of X by is equal to D by X, X by, by x. So that means if we interchange, uh, then we have this, this symmetriness. So the mapping is called symmetric if this happens. Now the uh, symmetric by identity map, so by identity map, this is R class R, is called symmetric by derivation of R if it is derivation in each argument. Each argument? If you look on, this is our uh, first argument. So if it additive in first argument, and it is also additive in the second argument that is in case of y, then such symmetric by derivation uh, is exist. Okay, so that means uh, if derivation is it is a derivation in each argument means in x as well as in y. So that means this is a, a, a y is my from dx y and also y from my from y x are derivative. Let, let me give you the more burden. So see this relation in fact. Okay. So now we are talking about the first first argument. Please be attentive. Kamal, I am audible. Of course, it's still audible. Yes, so sir. Yes, sir. Give attention towards this identity. So we are talking about the additivity in both argument. That is the uh, first and second. So if we are talking about the first argument, so apart from the additivity, if D satisfy this condition, D of X, Y, Z is equal to X, Z, Y plus X. Let me here we take Y outside then this and similarly from x out then we have this okay such may be called symmetric by derivation on the other hand if we talking about the uh, i am the uh, second argument so we, we see this part this one so dx y z again you operate this so this can be written as dx y z plus z x z 
So if this type map, we have a special name and we call it symmetric by derivation. The idea is related to the first argument and the second. That means a derivation by derivative map, which is derivation in first argument as implies derivation in second argument and then we call it symmetric by derivation. So the map associated with the symmetric by derivation has another type of name that is a map delta from R to R defined by this delta of x is equal to, this is capital D, that means we take D, the variety map defined in the previous slides, x, x is called trace of D. So this is special name and keep in mind in the definition. If D from R to R, that is the bioreality bio map, is symmetry mapping, which is also bioreality, then D means the trace of D satisfy this relation. That means delta of X plus by delta X, delta by plus two times D X Y. And this is uh, me, uh, the classical example, we if we're talking about the bioderivation, in case of now, if in case of commutative ring, means uh, R is commutative ring. Now we consider non-commutative ring as we you know the old frame two by two matrix of quadrangular, which gives very nice uh, derivations. So again, we consider the same mat same two by two matrix over this commutative ring. Okay, then of course M is non-commutative ring under usual ID usual matrix addition and matrix multiplication. Now we define D from M cross M to M by this property. So now consider the first element and the second element. Then take multiplication and this is 0, 0 and this is A1, A2, A1. So such type of map is a symmetric by derivation. And then if we have another uh, example, which is also uh, of the form, in case of R is not commutative ring, the map D from R to R defined by X1. So again, you know, D, if you operate D, because so D X1, D X2, okay, where D, uh, this uh, D E1, D2, this D is our derivation. So if D is derivation at X1 means first argument, D2 is derivation on the second argument, take multiplication. So this multiplication gives, that means, D of X1, X2 is equal to D X1, D X2, okay, where D is derivation, then this is a symmetric by derivation on a ring R. Now come on the previous and uh, all friend, I map of the form this type. If you remember uh, the example of inner derivation, but we did it in a derivation. In a derivation, here in place of uh, R, X, R, Y, we fix this E mean. Okay? That means we fix this A, X is equal to A, then we write here A, X, Y, and we see this is the derivation. But here, we don't, we, we have both uh, variable X and Y. Right? So, if you take map of this form, and from this upward, this is additive in both argument because by the uh, definition of Lie product. So this is the map and good example of bioderivation. So this is, uh, I, I hope the, the idea of bioderivation is clear in the mind of audience. If you have any comments, please, you can share. Okay, if no, then we give some results uh, on bioderivation, in fact. We move quickly, don't worry. We, uh, so in, now we, we, you know, if you remember, 
a portion of second uh, first theorem. The first theorem was what? If D1 and D2 are derivations, so D1 into D2, that means the composition of derivation is a derivation if any one of them is zero. This is what we a second result of Posner. So in view of this result, the, this uh, the may be taken is this form. This is, you know, uh, uh, the map x, this is d1 and d2x. So that means composition of d1 and d2 cannot be a derivation. So this result by extended by uh, Bookman in the year 1989. And the result, the result which we want to uh, state is the following. Let r be a prime ring of characteristic not 2 and 3. D1, D1 and D2 are symmetric by derivation. Suppose further there exists if a symmetric by derivative may be from R to R, okay? And uh, this is in fact F, this is, sorry, another B, and then D, this Fx is equal to D1 composition D2 where d1 and d2 are trace of d1 and d2 and f is a trace of this map b then when this means the same result and this is derivation or not this is derivation when d1 is zero or d2 is zero so this is the uh, another result in the direction of uh, posner first theorem Okay, now we move on uh, and there the another result on this direction, but we not go in detail. We will move and uh, uh, this was the, you know, uh, in the 19 Bookman has generalized uh, the symmetric by derivation by considering uh, and in case of non-commutative prime ring of characteristic different from two. And three, and suppose there exists a symmetric by derivation d from r cross r to r, where this map f stand for trace, it's centralizing the old friend we have already discussed in lot about this map. In that case, this uh, symmetric by derivation is zero. And he posed the conjecture in the same paper. Let R be non commutative prime ring of particles different from 2 and 3. D from R to R and F from R to R is symmetric by derivation and stress. D is symmetric by derivation, F is stress. And suppose uh, for n greater than or equal to 1, Fn belongs to zeta. F is what? Stress. Uh, that means where Fn k plus 1 is. You know, this is Fk, x, x. So this is what? One type of leap order. If this happens, then this d is zero. The, the partial solution of this conjecture is given by uh, Deng in the year 1997. And he proved, in fact, the following result. Let n be a fixed positive integer and R be prime ring with characteristic zero and characteristics apart in greater than equal to n plus one. And we have the same condition as Bookman mentioned. And with this F1 is equal to F. And then if F1 belongs to one, in that case, either D zero or R is commuted. So that means he established the conjecture in case of uh, characteristic zero and greater equal to two. Now we have uh, another idea about uh, extension of derivation, and we call it higher derivative. So in the uh, Smith and Hess introduced the notion of higher derivation. 
as follows let d capital d and where this d i where i belongs to natural number n we are family of identity mat that means d1 d2 d3 d4 up to dn the family of identity map the capital d the collection of identity maps and di or di they, they are from r to r then this d the this family is said to be high derivation on r if d not means i is equal to zero gives identity map and then d n is x y is equal to summation i plus j is equal to n d i x and d j by for all x y in i where n is natural number then okay we this is what the, the definition of higher derivation this one okay so since this is uh, we are talking about the higher version so for n is equal to 1, you take n is equal to 1 here, that means d1 means only one family, that means derivation. And of course, then we that means the, the high derivation includes the notion of derivation in case of n is equal to 1. So that means when we have n is equal to 1, we get d1, which is the notion of derivation of R. So let me define in a similar fashion the idea of Jordan high derivation. And you already know the Jordan derivation. And the, uh, similarly, you can define the idea of uh, Jordan high derivation by taking x is equal to y in the definition of high derivation. Means if you take x is equal to y here. So this is d and x square, right? So this is what uh, the, the uh, same idea as uh, Hastin uh, introduced in the year 1957. So again, we if we have n equal to one, it has the idea of Jordan derivation for n is equal to yes. So finally, this is Jordan derivation, which we already discussed in previous slide. And if also we have the idea of Jordan triple high derivation, same as Jordan triple derivation. Again, these family, DI is a collection of all identity maps. Then this capital D we call Jordan triple high derivation by same D naught is X, and with if we have this condition that means x d and x y is equal to this way i d i d j d k of course i plus j plus k is n so in case of n is equal to one we get the idea of Jordan triple derivation that was introduced and studied by Matthew Brescher, and the result was published in Journal of Algebra in the year 1983. So let me give you some example to more make this uh, idea more familiar. So let R be a ring. A be the fixed element of R. If we take D naught the identity map on R and define D and X is equal to minus one to the power N, X A to the power N minus A X A to the power N minus one. Or you write in, in the other way, this one, this is the, this one, that is minus one to the power n x x a minus a x and a to the power n minus one. And for, from the middle part, you are familiar. This is what if you take n is equal to one. Okay. If you take n is equal to one, 
you will get idea about inner derivation okay and in every inner derivation is a derivation so you it, it, it can easily be verified this the family of derivations is higher derivation if we talking about another example so for the higher derivation that is let k be any field and define kx ring of polynomial over f the map the i x to the power j is equal to this is what with the, in fact the factorial notation be careful please this is factorial notation i j okay like n c r so this is j c i x to the power j minus 1 where this j c r is 0 if i is greater than j then this d is a high derivation on ring of polynomials so there are several interesting and classical uh, result in case of high derivation studied by several people the first result in this direction is uh, extension of Hustin theorem for high derivation proved by Ferrero and Hettinger. And this result was published in Questions May 2002. So let me state the result. Let n be a two torsion free semi prime ring or prime ring of characteristic different from two, UA admissibility ideal, then every Jordan triple high derivation on R is a high derivation on R, or if you take U, then it is a high derivation on U. This result was uh, published in 202, and he also proved some more result in the same domain, but due to the uh, time i do not I, I will not uh, go in more details but uh, we go on for the other type of results these are the another result on colory and okay now we come on another classical problems related to derivations of rings and uh, invariance property so let me define first the invariance property because this is be, very important direction for research in derivation with invariance property so given a derivation d of r an ideal i of r is said to be invariant under d or d invariant if d i contained in i d i contained in i okay then d we call d invariant so this idea is uh, also is not new it is also very uh, earlier um, idea about invariance property and it is connect it has connection with singer banmar theorem range inclusion problem in Banach algebra very classical problems the conductor was uh, uh, open for more than 40 years let me come later on on this conjecture let me give the idea about uh, another time so in the year 2006 Chang and Lee proved an interesting result including the invariance of prime ideas the result which we want to state is the following let r be a semi prime ring consisting of countable many elements then there is a collection of prime ideals such that the intersection of this collection is zero such that each prime each family of this prime ideal is invariant of all derivatives of r so this result was proved by Cheng and Lee in 2006. Further, 
in the year 1980 hastin in his talk suggested a conjecture related to minimum prime ideal of semi prime rings so this problem was brought up by several other authors and it would be interesting to look at the some favorable partial <clears throat> results of this conjecture due to the let, let me see by kirima result sorry krampa uh, in semi prime algebra over a field of characteristic zero all minimum prime ideals are always invariant under derivations that means if if you have a semi prime ideal so a semi prime algebra then a then da is also in a that means the invariant under semi prime algebra with this characteristic in this direction uh matru in the year 2015 prove another classical result every minimum prime ideal p which has non zero annihilator of semi prime ring r is an invariant under derivation of r he proved this result in 2015 a result was published in you know the contemporary math american math society so this uh, result and the conjecture mentioned earlier motivated us to give the more general version of this these results in the setting of higher derivation so recently me and my students uh able to generalize this result and give the partial answer of the conjectures mentioned above for the higher derivation uh, and this result may be going to appear in journal of algebra uh the result which we want to state is the following let r be a semi prime ring then each minimum prime ideal p of r having a non zero annihilator is di invariant where di invariant means di contained in p di contained in p where di is high derivation so as a interesting corollary of this uh, result take a to one we get result of krampa and another general result in the same paper we prove is the following uh let r be ring p a prime ideal this these uh, uh, result in fact uh, gave a uh, new direction recently we mentioned a conjecture in the same paper and i an application of these uh, result be proved another result be in for the high derivation and extended a classical uh, result by posner and others and in in the setting of uh, you know star uh, we call it star version of posner's result so we not go into but the idea again for evolution new idea let me come uh, so i satisfy these two conditions so a ring or algebra if we have algebra then we also have alpha x star is equal to alpha bar x bar where alpha bar is the, uh, you know the complex conjugate so 
when a ring equipped with an innovation is known as a ring with innovation or a star ring. And uh, there are several interesting examples of innovation. If R is commutative ring, then RNT map is the example of uh, innovation. If you have a ring of complex numbers, then the Z star bar is Z bar. Then complex conjugate. This is also uh, interesting example of emulation is uh, if you have a two by two mat sorry, matrix ring, then the transpose the means uh, uh, is the best example and natural one example of emulation. So uh, with these examples, we also have a uh, decomposition of this R by many interesting uh, means if you have uh, R ring with emulation and simple ring, then R can be Compose so we are give these uh, subsets like HR set of Hermitian element and set of isco Hermitian element. Her Hermitian element mean if x is star is equal to x, okay, then x is called Hermitian element. And if we x is star is equal to minus x, we call it isco Hermitian. So set of all. Hermitian element denoted by HR and set of isco Hermitian element denoted by SR. Of course, uh, we, we there is a kind of uh, two kind of innovation, first kind and second kind. So innovation is set to the first kind if J R contained in HR. Otherwise, we call it second kind. However, in case of the second kind of relation, this condition always fulfilled. So let me give you example of uh, first kind of relation, which is not second kind, and second kind of relation, which is not first kind. So these are the examples. R is a familiar ring to white and multiplication define relation that means ZR contained in HR okay and it is not second kind. As far as this, the second kind of relation is concerned, we have another example. Let R be a ring of C, the ring of a complex number, and H, the ring of real quaternion. Uh, then, of course, this form a ring under component wise uh, addition and component wise uh, multiplication. Okay. And define in relation star with the help of, uh, you know, this. That means uh, Z and Q star. So we write down Z, Q bar, and already know. So this is a second kind of relation, which is not first kind of relation. So these examples uh, are very important when we are dealing a uh, ring with innovation. Kamal, I am uh, audible. Kamal? Yes, it's audible, Professor. Okay. I'm sorry, because I'm not uh, have a pain, so I am just uh, going. But anyway, if have somebody have some comments, we feel free to discuss later on. So let our now, <clears throat> now we are going to introduce a new concept that we introduced recently. And to my former page student, uh, Nadeem Dar, that that verb was published in Georgian Math Journal in the year 2014. So let R be a ring with innovation star 
and as we are non empty centralizing and committing mapping so motivated by the definition of centralizing mapping we now introduce the definition in this paper we introduce the idea of these mappings what we call star centralizing and star committing so let define precisely a mapping f from r to r where r is a ring with involution is said to be star commute centralizing if fx x is star is in center so compare this and is called star commuting if this has got attention and several interesting result uh, has already been proved and this paper has got lot of uh, uh, citation and uh, give the new direction uh, to the people who are working in derivation rings with involution yes so let me let me give you some examples of these uh, newly defined concepts star commuting and star centralizing so for any central element a the map of this form this fx is equal to ax star so a is any central element then this map is star commuting as well as star centralizing as well as star centralizing similarly similarly uh if you have a another map f on r such that range of f in the center of a ring then f is also a star commuting and a star centralized yes yes any question or comments till now yes any question or comments please feel free yeah uh participants should you have any comments or quick uh, remarks you can just raise your hand okay if no question or comments we move forward yeah professor okay yes so with this uh, definition of a star uh, means inversion let us give some classical results proved in this direction since 2014 so in the same paper we proved the following results uh let r be a prime ring with relation star such that characteristic of r is different from 2 the non zero derivation of r x star belongs to zr for all x in r and this condition means d of sr intersection zr is non zero then r is commutative so if you compare this result with the classical result of posner and then we call it a star version of posner's theorem because you know if this is be pos star if we remove this star this is result same as uh, posner's second theorem so in literature many people generalize this result and prove another classical result by removing some conditions like recently uh, uh, a group from morocco uh, they 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 generalize this classical uh, uh, result and remove this condition that is uh, intersection of 
this one as r intersection z r is result that means let r be a, a be a, a two torsion free primary regulation of second kind in case of the second kind d is non zero derivation of r if d is star centralizing in the same sense what be, be defined okay and then r is then r is commutative r is commutative uh, this result was published in communication algebra 2016 again uh, very recently najar at all in 2017 uh, generalized this result in more general way that means uh, this uh, okay mm, recently we our students uh, the uh, former students Saladin and uh, Vaisali she is recently with me uh, we proved generalized this uh, means we proved another result in this direction which gave the generalization of uh, Uh, our result that was which also generalized the result of Posner and this uh, Najar et al. So let me give you the idea uh, about the result. Let uh, R be a ring with the minimum ideal of R with this condition. R intersection P and if D1 D2 are derivations of R such that D1 X star X star D2 in P. So remember before the, what Arthur did they take in fact the result of this form belongs to ZR. Okay. If you look they belong take result when this this are condition they are in ZR. But what we did we take more general general version uh this take image in the prime ideal okay then one of the following conditions hold the characteristic of this quotient ring as already we uh, know if r is a ring with identity and p is prime ideal then r can be identical domain so we already have the idea then uh, so uh, in that case when this condition hold then any one of the following conditions uh, hold. One is the characteristic of the quotient ring is true and D1 invariant under P, sorry, invariant uh, D1 contained in P and D2 also contained in P. And third is this quotient ring R upon P is a commutative integral domain so these are the new result in the direction and uh, we recently proved in 2022 in the same paper we uh, prove the another result of the similar kind of flavor that is a uh, let r be a ring p is a prime ideal d with this condition d x x star and x x star then one of the following whole characteristic of this question is two and r upon p is the integral domain uh, Let me go for the another type of result, but I think we will not go in more detail. In fact, we give the more we, we prove some more results, which is motivated by the result of Bookman. The Bookman proved the generalized result of Posner, which is by this is what for uh, second order commutator, and we extended this result in 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 our uh, recent paper for prime ideal cases. So the result is. The following 
let r be a ring with an evolution star of the second kind and p a prime ideal of r such that as r intersection z r in p if r admits a derivation d such that you know dx x star again x star so remember kind of commutator we we discussed earlier this is of course if you talk if take g, this is zero so this is second r commutative that means if you if you recall this result you think about uh, about uh, the similarity so this is for the second r commutator because if you have this zero and zero is always in p then this can be any one of the following holds characteristic of r percent degree is 2 and the image of r under d also go in p r and the quotient degree is commutative integral domain so this result uh, has uh, another uh, kind of uh, like if you look over here if you if you take this this is uh, means uh, zero in dx axis star x equals zero so this is zero so this is part is the the the, the star version of uh, bookman results prove just here this one so this is uh, uh, this result becomes a corollary in of this result in that so uh, if you look on this uh, result this result involves this uh, leap product, in fact. So there is a natural question. What happens if we replace this leap product by Jordan product? So in the next result, we, this, we gave answer of such type of questions and result is the following. So let R be prime ring in relation of the second kind, P a prime ideal of R, such that as our intersection Z R is uh, contained in P. If R admits a derivation D, such that this is DX Jordan part, okay, in P, then D R characteristic of quotient ring is 2 and D invariant, the, the, the image of D in P. Similarly, we describe the another result in the same paper and flavor now we we'll go another so as the application as the application of the invariance property uh, be a invariance property for the minimum prime ideas on the higher derivation we establish the star version of result by Postner and uh, our results for the high derivations. So, uh, this is the result. Let R be a semi-prime ring. Uh, one thing I pointed out, point out here, because you know, till now, there are very, uh, there are several, I think more than, uh, more than 500 papers based on uh, the paper uh, that by this version uh, my paper published in the jargon mad journal but all these results in the domain of primaries no one try to think about semi primaries because there is limitations and we are trying to remove the, these limitations since 2014, but uh, it will, will take, you know, more than 10 years, eight and 10 years, the hurdles. And finally, these, this paper for the high derivation recently we studied, I mean, studied 
give the new directions rings with integration and think about semi prime ring so our next result the semi prime ring with integration of the first kind before the all semi prime ring and first kind integration and we take i'll be a star ideal and di is the family of higher derivation of r then d and x where dn is high derivation x star and z are for all x for star ideal then either r is commutative ring r the center of r is mapped to zero by some linear combination of di's this is very interesting okay because uh, the center of r is mapped to be zero by some linear combination of di so di d1 zr d2 zr uh, like uh, uh, d1 z d1 zr multiply alpha 1 alpha 1 d1 z bar then again alpha 2 d2 z2 bar so on so so this is what is zero so we get some new type of uh, in this setting moreover uh, as i as i mentioned when we define the high derivation if we take n is equal to 1 then it includes the notion of derivation so this is what the posner classical posner uh, general uh, star version of the posner second theorem for semi prime rings first kind of this result of and then ham uh, um, kamal yeah professor yes how much time we have uh we actually run out of time for the second session uh and uh, i i i suggest that it should uh enter the q and a session if you wish no well, look give me give me five five minute more because we give some problems okay and some okay. something in this okay okay so, sure uh, yeah this is very important because uh, where we the concept of derivation are going to be used and so this is important to let so the first open problem based on this paper we are talking about this paper recently we uh, uh deal uh, half for high derivation inhibition and for high derivation and about uh, uh, this uh, you know this paper so now we give some open problem based on this one so first open problem is let m and n be a fixed positive integer and next let r be a uh, prime ideal if r i admits a jordan star derivation d and g of r you know this condition holds then what we can say about the structure of r and the form of d and another uh, problem is let r be a ring with relation of of the second kind because we did for the first kind evolution but uh, this problem is still open for the second kind evolution so uh, uh p is prime ideal for admit derivation d such that this uh, happens then maybe one of the following will be here so these are uh, there's there are more problems in in the same paper but we now to more problems and in the same setting this is the entity how we get the structure of a f and the structure of r okay similarly we have the another problem based on you know the problem a result posed by uh, hastein so this is another type of a result it still needs answer so with this uh, let me give you the star version of hastein 
result because we are talking about the quotients lot of result then we come on star version of first integers quickly be answer so in fact in the year 1978 has time proved the following result if r is prime ring of characteristic different from 2 and then uh characteristic different from 2 admitting non zero derivation such that dx the product dx comma dy is zero for all x y then r is commutative this is by the result pulls 1978 by hastin and very recently uh, maimuni extended this result for prime ideal so the result he proved is the following uh, let r be a ring p a prime ideal d1 d2 derivation of r and d1 x d2 x in p then and if characteristic of quotient ring is non is equal to 2 not is equal to 2 then d1 contained in p or d2 contained in p or r upon p is integral domain so with this uh, we get idea and again we uh, prove this uh, star version of uh, hastein result together with uh, my former student uh, dr salauddin and uh, ayat the result which we want to uh, Uh, just the state is the following and that already had result already uh, published in communication algebra in 2022 and the result is the following let r be a ring with relation of the second kind p is prime ideal with the same condition and d1x comma d2 star x belongs to p then d1 contained in p and d2 contained in p are upon p domain then we also this is of our uh, this this main result and some of them is are the following but we not these are the nls jordan version of the same in six paper around more than 20 years, i think more than 25 pages so there are a lot of things lot of problems if somebody are in, so in the same paper we have the again some problem, the results based on hastein problems and it's a star version so let am and n be a fixed in positive integer and uh, r be a ring with suitable in relation maybe the first or second kind or you have the another kind of uh, in relation and p are semi prime or prime ideal if r admits derivation d and d2 such that d2 <coughs> such that d1 x power m and d2 x to the power n belongs to p for all x in n then what we can say about uh, is structures of r means ring and the maps involving d1 and d2 so this is the problem given in the same paper and another problem is in the similar uh, flavor but if somebody are interested can be search in the same paper that uh, mention and publish in communication algebra 2022 next we uh, come on very important uh, uh, part that is the applications what is the role of derivations in the present scenario and where we use the uh, idea of uh, derivations uh, come on yeah professor okay okay good i am just checking we are are connected or not that's why yeah, yeah we are we are still connected of course okay so let uh, dear colleagues we are going to discuss the importance about this topic in term of applications so let me give you some uh, hint some references where the theory of derivations are used so in many areas the theory of derivations and automorphism 
plays an important role, not only link theory, but also in coding theory, functional analysis, field theory, linear differential equations, so on and so forth. Very an extensive and deep theory has been developed for derivations in C star algebras, commutative one of algebra, Galois theory of linear differential equation, and very inform information science that is coding theory. So let me give you some idea where these notions have been used till now. So in coding theory, uh, if, if anybody are inside coding theory, you know, uh, most of the cases, uh, uh, the cores are uh, taken over the field. But uh, in the recently from recent year from 2000 something, uh, I think 2019, sorry, 1994, the course over ring has been considered. And since the ring theory play an important role in coding theory means in fact the you know uh, finite ring however as far as the use of derivation is concerned so the use of derivation comes uh, in the year in 2014 this paper design course and cryptography by Boucher and Ulmer, where they concept they, they generalize the concept of course as a module over skew polynomial ring of automorphism to type of skew polynomial ring where the multiplication is multiplication is specified by automorphism and derivation. I'm sorry I cannot ex explain uh, how the they, they consider uh, uh, the derivation in ISCO polynomial rings because, but, but if somebody are in cases, please go through these references. You find how the notion of derivation uh, have been introduced in coding theory and it play very, very important role and generalize many algorithm. Uh, in by using the derivation. So these are the papers, two papers I mentioned here. One is this at uh, 2014, design and code and cryptography. Okay, linear cores using ISCO polynomial rings with automorphism and derivation, in fact. In fact, when we are talking about the non-commutative ring, that means uh, we are talking about ISCO polynomial ring. So in place of uh, uh, automorphism, they consider derivation. And then they try to generalize and construct new algorithm by using the theory of derivations. And second paper is an algorithm for decoding SQL read uh, Salman course with respect to SQL matrix. This is also the recent paper uh, in 2022. Some more paper uh, are recently uh, published uh, where the coding theory using derivation. So this is one area, you know, the fascinating area uh, in, in, in the information science where the ring theory and derivation are play very, very important role. Next in uh, field theory. So as far as the field theory is concerned, this is a very, very old concept. And the idea of derivation uh, plays uh, an important role in field extension, where in particular, if we're talking about uh, the separable extension and its related problems where derivation is play the good role. So for this uh, reference, uh, if somebody are in testing, 
for the applications of uh, derivation in field theory these are the reference aspect of the theory of derivations this is a paper published in banach public and this is 1984 another idea the picard theory of linear homogeneous differential equations transaction american math so li listen this is 1963 so this is not new so the old uh, uh, very old paper okay and uh, okay the next one is the application of derivation in in ordinary uh, differential equations so navaki uh, using the idea of derivation and sometimes we call it k deriv derivation of a polynomial ring k x okay so this was uh, you know uh, 1984 paper so uh, somebody are interested can we look or go for details in this reference these are the references we mentioned here this is uh, another system of polynomial ordinary differential equations okay where these are two references polynomial derivations and their ring of constants polen by this and integral derivation general of algebra in the year 1987. These reference provided the good account of application of derivation in theory of differential equations. Then, uh, of course, in ring theory, uh, derivation play a very important role like uh, in, in is polynomial ring. So let, let, let us give you the idea. Let R be a commutative ring with identity D or derivation of R. Consider the set of all polynomials of one variable, say X, over R and define in as, as the addition and usual multiplication by the rule. So addition is usual, but when we take the multiplication that is uh, R X R that is R X interchange. We are talking about non. Isko polynomial means non commutative rings we are digging. And R X plus D R. In fact, this D is a derivation. Then, then it is well known as becomes a ring, and that ring is denoted by this symbol, and we call it. Uh, we call it uh, ring of skew polynomial this one ring of is q polynomials and this work already been published contemporary mathematica in 1985 okay for another important application uh let for a derivation for my family of derivations this is again in the same way you can define xi r the multiplication we are going to define so r x i plus d i r Okay, and x i x j is equal to x j x i. So these properties means the properties of these isco polynomials ring have been discussed by several authors by Hermansi uh, and uh, Nakazima in this paper published in Journal of London Mass Society in the year 1975. And then uh, look uh, these are another uh, references for same topic that means half algebra acting on semi algebra uh, semi prime algebra and derivation of isco polynomial ring publication of this uh, uh, same and Nadorian over extension ring, and Nadorian over extension and Jacobson ring, General of London Mass Society. You can find these references here. And then uh, let me come on uh, final. 
بقى بس اللينير الجبرا بجد بري فاميليار بد اللينير الجبرا سو يس The idea of derivation has uh, used also in the linear algebra. So in the year 2003, uh, this Talman, general of algebra application, obtained this Jordan uh, determinant induced on non-negative degree function on the ring of matrices over the SQ polynomial. So once the SQ polynomial is involved, that means derivation will play an important role. So he applied this degree function to calculate the, the dimension of solution. Dimension of uh, solution, dimension solution is space uh, in the following way. Let f be f, f be differential field of characteristic zero. This means f is equipped with the addition map called derivation. Okay, and I see the f the field of constants that is the kernel of derivation. So this idea was used in linear algebra during the years and 2006 and 2005 uh, respectively. So now I will stop and uh, say thanks for your question. Yes, Kamal, this is over from my side. Okay, thank you so much, Professor Shakir. And a fellow participant, uh, please give a round of applause for Professor Shakir Ali. Thank you, Professor. <clears throat> okay, uh, once again, thank you for the talk. Something is really happening in this topic and uh, we have seen demonstrations of a bunch of theorems related to derivation and, and as well as as well as the Jordan derivations uh, operators of her rings. And uh, yeah, I think uh, we are going to have uh, a second Q&A session because of the limited of time. I think we are going to only have one question and the questions has already been given by uh, Mr. Afif Humam. So professor uh, on the chat, Column, do we have a question to you? Are you ready for the question? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So here's the question, Professor. In elementary calculus, we define higher order derivative by repetition of usual first deriv derivative. Is the definition always satisfies the definition of the higher derivative of ring? And could you give the example of some higher order derivative, which is not the repetition of the first order derivative? So that's the question. If you need uh, like the uh, the the detailed question, you can open the chat column, Professor. Yes, yes, yes. So me, the time's yours. Okay, okay. Is the definition always satisfy the, the definition of the higher derivation on ring? And could you give example some higher order derivative which is not repetition of the first order derivation. Uh, uh, I think uh, I give you the uh, example of derivation and the um, uh, when we define idea of high derivation. Do you need and uh, do you do I do you, are you present during that time? Yeah. Atif? Yes. Yes, are, professor. You, are you present when we define the high derivation? Uh, uh, oh. Yes. Because I gave two examples of high derivation. Oh, oh maybe I... <laughs> oh, uh, this is, this is yes. problem. Okay. Yes. I'm uh, sorry. Quickly, quickly, quickly yes. I, I will give you an answer because it's a nice question and good. The idea is almost same, but mm -hmm. it will need modification, okay? Uh, because uh, defined in different uh, uh, setting, but idea is uh, almost uh, yes, yes. So this is the this is what the derivation you know the, we call higher derivation. Uh, yes. This slide is visible, uh, Atif. Yes, uh, I I see so the, the definition. So if you not present, then this is the we gave the idea. Let D V I be family of identity mappings. Okay, yes. that D mm -hmm. I so even D two D. So this mm -hmm. these, the collection of all these mappings, 
and then we call this family to be the high derivation on R mm -hmm. if D mm -hmm. not is identical. Mm -hmm. And D and be defined by this sum. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That yes. means D mm -hmm. and X by is summation mm -hmm. that I plus J is N, D I X, D J Y, right? And yes. of course, when you take N is equal to one, it mm -hmm. includes the notion of derivation. Clear? Yes. Similarly, yes. I'm not go and more other detail, but give you the the some some examples. So let this is what uh, uh, example of high derivation in rings. Let R be a ring, A be any mm -hmm. fixed limit. Then the map of this form. Look in this form. Uh, okay. Is is visible? Uh, yes. D and X is equal to minus one to the power n x a minus a x into a to the power n minus one mm. where n is greater than equal to one if you take n is equal to one you get very interesting notion like uh, this is minus one and here this mm. is eight power zero so if you multiply this minus one then it becomes uh, you know a x minus a x so you always write in the Lee product, that is a x, and this is this is what is our inner derivation defined in in the first uh, mean first part of the lecture. Okay. okay, and every inner derivation is a derivation, and hence so far one and is equal to one. This is a derivation, and similarly we have another example. Let k be mm. any field, and uh, then k x the ring of polynomial. And take this form. Oh, okay. This one. Uh, okay. okay. Then this family is again a uh, 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 higher derivation, and if take uh, uh, i is equal to one, we will get uh, again the idea of derivation. So these are the examples. Okay. And more examples you can go in this paper. Uh, by Ferrer, this is the paper you can find uh, uh, another example. Okay, or you can you can search my um, um, uh, if you want to more detail. You just put my see my math science net. You can find a paper on high derivation where you can find another classical examples. Uh, thank you very much, Professor. Okay, you are welcome. Okay, thank you, uh, Mr. Afif and Professor Shakir for the answer. And again, participants, uh, that being mentioned that due to the limited of time, uh, we are only accept one question for this Q&A. And uh, should you have any further questions, I believe that Professor Shakir would be really open to be approached via email, Professor Shakir? Yeah. Sure, sure. Can okay, I nice. Uh, can I write my email here? If you need, I can write. No problem. Yeah, uh, it'll it it will really help us if you uh, share your email on the chat uh, box. And yeah, uh, fellow participants, Dan Brown said that knowledge grows exponentially. The more we know, the greater our ability to learn, and the faster we can expand our knowledge base. So to appreciate the great knowledge that was shared by uh, Professor uh, Shakir Ali. Uh, we have a virtual gift that will be given by the head of this event, Dr. Gantina Rahma Putri. Dr. Gantina, are you ready to share the virtual gift? Yes. <laughs> Can you hear my voice? Yes. It's audible. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Kamal. Uh, thank you very, very much. Uh, Professor, uh, on behalf on, of the Algebra Research Group of the Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Sciences, please accept this gift. Um, our student uh, designed this for you. Oh. Uh, <laughs> could you oh, see it? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Very fine. Please send me by, by, by mail because... Uh, uh, this you really I, I appreciate of your student. 
Okay. Yes, of Let's course, it. I will give. Very fine. Uh, I will forward the email to you. Yeah, it was yeah. a, a pleasure to have you with us today, and I oh. hope we can continue to collaborate in the future, inshallah, Professor. Inshallah. Who? What is the name of the student who who make this photograph? Ah, oh, um, Bimo. And what what C are he is doing? Um, mathematics student. Angkatan berapa ya? My, I'm, he's uh, he or she is a hmm? uh, master ah. student or PhD student. I'm sorry. He or she is PhD student or master student. Oh, um, Bimo, uh, he bachelor student. Bachelor under, student. Under, not yet master. Uh, so. He or she is here? Uh, uh, no. Uh, ask, ask, unfortunately. Ask him if he, I want to I want to say thanks personally to uh, oh, okay. I think he, I see. Uh, I will uh, Very nice. yeah, I will give uh, yeah. I I am seeing the first time of such <laughs> <laughs> I will, give, uh, I will give the email and maybe uh, WhatsApp number. Sure, sure. And and ask her if he 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 or she. He. Okay. So ask him from my side. Uh, keep this uh, and and if he are interesting in algebra <laughs> research, please make okay. make more photograph and not for me but uh, for for the high level research. So. <laughs> He or he, she will be really uh, make such figures in the future of such more other uh, mathematicians. Thank you, thank you very much, Professor. You are welcome. You are welcome. Okay, uh, Kama. Okay, thank you, uh, oh. <clears throat> Dr. Ganti Narahma Putri, for giving a virtual <laughs> gift. And uh, once again, please, everyone, give a round of applause for our honorable speaker for the today's agenda, Professor Shakir Ali. Okay. Thank you, uh, thank you. And we have arrived at the end of the second day of the Algebra Seminar, and we would like to deliver a big thanks once again to our today's lecturer, Professor Shakir Ali, and of yeah. course, to all of the participants. We hope that you all enjoy all of the all of the sessions delivered today and gain new knowledge. I'm Kamal. Okay. Good afternoon, and see you Very tomorrow. Nice. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Kamal, you know there are some participants from Morocco. Ah. Yes. Okay. Some some participants here. Pra yes, from Morocco. Ah. So they they send me a message. See in the chat box. I think his his name is a uh, uh, Sharabai Kamal. And oh. And one more guy. Anyway, uh, there are supposed to be some more. Okay. And thank you all uh, for for, for you. providing this uh, introduction with the younger Indonesian algebraist and mathematician. And welcome you all anytime if you need anything regarding my research. And apart from research, I am happy to share with you and send to you all of you. Thank you all once more. And thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum And thank you once again. Oh, even is even even Adri Adrian Adrian. Mm. Evan, yes. Oh. How are you, Evan? <laughs> I am searching like you guy because I am thinking you are not in this seminar. But anyhow, I I am happy to see you. How are you doing? Yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, I am so happy. Uh, in today. Then why you keep quiet? Because you not ask any question. This is good chance to ask something. Huh? Uh, Evan, I mean not. Uh, do, you, do you remember our last uh, 
uh, come in when we are with Professor Inda on 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 uh, Google Meet. Uh, I ask you several questions. So this is your time to ask me questions. If you are interested. Anyway, keep good work and wish you all the best to all of you. See you, inshallah, some other time. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Professor. Bye bye. Bye bye. So, uh, Kamal, what your area of research? Oh, my area of research is uh, basically mathematical biology, Professor. Mathematical biology. What are you doing? Yeah. Some, some, uh, some, some uh, you know, doing models? lots, lots in. Uh, my research is more into dynamical systems and optimizations, basically. Okay, very good. It's a good topic. A good topic. Okay. But I'm so really excited to to uh, hear your uh, presentations and which is really interesting. I have some friend in 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 Turkey uh, who working in dynamical system in University of uh, Egypt Technical University. He is uh, very uh, uh, good and very high ranking professor in University of uh, Egypt Technical University. Okay, he is my close friend, and if you need some collaboration, feel free to ask me. Oh, I'd be really love to have a collaborations with other people overseas and thank you for the chance Professor. i mentioned my email address here if somebody uh, somebody need mm -hmm. I, I think you, you will have but anyway i write here this is mm -hmm. amu dot ac dot in shakir dot ali dot am am at amu dot ac dot in so this is my email okay. and uh, if somebody are interested in my research he or she can be reached on Math Science Net by my name, uh, Ali Shakir. Ali Shakir. You can go on www.ams.org and you can find the all informations regarding my research. Okay, some because there are maybe some people are need, so I just mentioned over here. This is Ali Shakir. You can write down. Uh, on Google Citation or American Mass Society, you can find out all these information over there. Okay. Okay, Kamal. It's all noted, Professor. Thank keep you. Keep remember. Yes, see you and keep in touch. Yep. See you. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.